that was for elections so that the regime could kind of create a veneer of calm in areas that it needed to have images of people voting. She says it's incumbent on the U.S. and other world powers to work toward the removal of Assad from power. Jackie Quinn, Washington. Correspondent Seth Borenstein reports the Associated Press has analyzed National Climactic Data Center temperature trends across the U.S. since 1984 to see which states are the warmest. We picked 1984 because it gave us a 30-year trend, but also 1984, if you look at it nationally, it was almost dead on average for the 20th century. So this isn't cherry-picked starting with a cold year or cherry-picked starting with a hot year. And seeing, in general, the U.S. warmed by about 1.2 degrees during that time, but places like Maine and Vermont warmed by about 2.7 degrees in that time. And the Clippers owner is now on board with the sale of his NBA team. Mark Myers tells us why Donald Sterling says yes to $2 billion. Los Angeles Clippers owner Donald Sterling has agreed to sign off on selling the team to former Microsoft executive Steve Ballmer. The reported sale price is $2 billion. The deal was negotiated by Sterling's wife, Shelley. As part of the agreement, Donald Sterling, banned for life by the NBA for making racist comments in a secret audio recording, has agreed not to pursue legal action against the league. Mark. In local news, 23-year-old graffiti artist Adam Zane has captured the heart of 19-year-old college sophomore Jessica Tissolo. Zane, who goes by the graffiti handle Slice, met Tissolo last summer at an annoyingly self-aware dive bar where the talentless artist caught Tissolo's eye with his cliched sleeve tattoos of trite Japanese imagery and the fact that he was wearing a winter hat indoors in the middle of June. His art is really just the absolute worst. I think we're going to get married someday. And now for This Week in Tech, brought to you by LG. An excited groom sends text messages to his buddies during his bride's vows. And a collection of VHS tapes are held onto for one more year. In other news, a burglar makes sure to crack the glass on a family portrait before leaving. There's nothing in the employee handbook about groping dead co-workers, an employee says. And a report finds that nobody's heard from David Blaine in a while, so somebody should probably check to see if he died in one of those things. Mere seconds have passed, yet we feel as though we've known you a thousand lifetimes. For more, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want by dialing toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Joining you tonight, it is Ian here with you. And Johnson. All right, so welcome aboard. We'll talk to you about anything that might happen to be on your mind. Got some interesting audio for you uh, this evening. In fact, Johnson, you want to talk about the Reset reset the Net event, which is actually transpiring as we speak, right. apparently. Uh, so we can definitely talk about that. That's fairly time sensitive. There's an update on the war on chalk here in Keene. It's been getting media coverage now. Uh, plus a just a, a crazy interaction with uh, the police up in Toronto, Canada. And all of that is, you know, audio based. We'll play we'll play some of that as the show goes along here tonight. Plus, the ladies from Femin are at it again. Uh, longtime listeners of the show know that every now and then we'll come across a story of this really radical activist group in Russia and Ukraine that does some pretty amazing, like ballsy, really courageous, kind of bordering on crazy uh, activism. And they do it topless. So it does ha tend to help them get uh, publicity for whatever it right. is they're looking for. So I've got the latest on that. And, uh, Johnson, you were just telling me something uh, that, that you found interesting as well. Uh, the Virginia DMV has ordered Lyft and Uber to stop oh. operating. Yikes. All right. So and, and we know somebody who works for them. We do. We'll give you uh, an update, an Uber update here uh, in a moment. And Lyft, they're, uh, they're competitor. They're under fire in a lot more places than just Virginia. Also, we can go to your phone calls and thoughts here tonight. Let's go to Mark Edge, who is suspiciously absent. Uh, Mark, you're on Free Talk Live. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, call in real quick at the beginning of the show, let everybody know that everything's fine after uh, last night's uh, um, the exchange between uh, you and I. And that, quick, uh, Ian, mute his mic and see if it's still fine. <laughs> What's, what's that? I said, quick, Ian, mute his mic and see if he's still fine. 
<laughs> Thing that's, is, he wouldn't know funny. if I muted him here. <laughs> he could just keep talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could scream at the top of my lungs here. That's true. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, uh, we have uh, you and I have decided to suspend me for uh, two days, and I'm also going to uh, find myself by giving um, some amount of money to the uh, 100 night shelter oh, this year nice i haven't idea. figured out what that's going to be but uh so we have uh, instituted our own policies here at free talk Live. you do realize that a swear jar really isn't going to work here <laughs> <laughs> i got it but we're going to do the best we can how many how many times is that now mark i mean if we only count last night as once when it really should count as thrice uh because you were naughty boy three times in a row but I, I'm remembering at least one other occasion in the past, uh, maybe two. I, I don't recall, though. I think you may be up to three I occasions. I think I've, I'm certainly higher than you are on the list I've had of one. Uh, people who've done it. But what's that? I've had one. I had to drop an F-bomb yeah, that I said once on accident. Yeah, I think you had one. I, I'm probably at four or five. Okay. Now, what's interesting to me here is that I believe that in regular personal life that I swear about 300 times as much as both of you. And mm. I haven't had any. Combined. <laughs> In all the years of, of having participated. Now, Famous I know, last words. I know that you guys, you know, have done much, much more radio than me as, you know, you know, I'm on once every other week. Yeah. But even back back in the day, you know, when I was doing it multiple times per week, I, I have never dropped. And I think that part of it is that you have to get to this this level where if you're going to become filthy on radio and this is because i listen to a lot of shows that try and push the borders you know i've listened to like opie and anthony and howard stern and uh the idea is to get very shakespearean when you get really angry you have to just drop one of those like old time insults you know like um i don't have one on the top you muling quim yes stuff like that you know you just have to get as you know just make that work for you you, you know manky git <laughs> that's a good exactly. one Git's a good one all right. Well, you know, um, I, I I apologize, uh, Mark, for cutting your mic last night. It's just uh, it's what I tend to do when you start yelling at me, and uh, I was uh, I was upset, so I I cut your mic, and, uh, and that that upset you even further, and wasn't it didn't work out me very too, well. Me too, buddy. We've made a living. We've made a living out of arguing with each other. We're lucky it's gone this well. All right. You got anything else? I'm done. Get out of here. All right, be gone, you half brain house frow. <laughs> 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Although, I, our, our policy here of you curse on the radio and then you get a night off, isn't that kind of like the police? <laughs> you know, like where they beat somebody and then they get a paid vacation? I mean, it's mm -hmm. not like Mark's. Well, I guess he did say he was going to give some money to the homeless sure, shelter, so yeah. he will be taking a pay cut. If as only a the police did the same. Um, all right, so let's go to continue with your phone calls and thoughts. Uh, Chris is in Indiana. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Chris. Chris Hello, in Indiana. Gentlemen. Go ahead. Hey, I wanted to bring up a story. Not very pleasant, but I think everyone should be aware that there was a family that called 911 for help with a special needs daughter, and the cops show up and shot her dead, and the neighbors claimed that the girl was shot in the back. Ooh, so, yeah, I had that story tonight. It. Yeah, oh, you had it all lined up? Well, I didn't know if we were going to get to it, but yeah, I mean, uh, how do you feel about this? Well, I'm glad to see that that community, they were having a little candle lighting thing the day after, and it ended up in a small riot that ended up at that police department because it's so unjust that this police officer that did this, who showed up and then 20 seconds after showed up, shot the person um they ended up at that police station and it's a shame because he's on paid administrative leave and then you have this mm. cop that they're putting out there she's she's pretty but her ideology is just all backwards because she thinks that this is all just and she's saying that the questions will be answered but i hate this line that these people drop like oh they needed to protect themselves these people are employed by our tax to protect us, and we call them, and they show up, and they shoot us. It's like to the point where we should just be our own police and not even call them, call these people because all they're going to do is just be a an extra person that comes in and shoots you. It's disgusting. 
Yeah, the, I mean, the, really, the, the one of the most dangerous things you can do to anybody that you care about is to call the police into a situation because they, these guys are not uh, affiliated with the facts. They're arriving on the scene, having just been given the most brief description from a dispatcher, and then they will do erratic and dangerous and stupid things as a result of their ignorance and their hubris, their willingness to do anything, because they know that in a lot of cases they can't be held responsible for it. Chris, thanks for your call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. The story here from uh, NBCBayArea.com. An 18-year-old special needs woman was killed after a confrontation with San Mateo County Sheriff's deputies that escalated into an officer-involved shooting. Deputy Rebecca Rosenblatt said deputies responded to the Moon Ridge Housing Complex. Initial report was a violent female subject who was thought to be armed. Uh, the officer said there was a confrontation with the woman, and the deputy discharged his weapon because he feared for his life after she lunged at him with a knife. However, the woman's brother is saying that his sister has special needs and may have been off of her medication. Yeah, I'm re there's all different versions of the story. I read one that said that she was refusing to take her medication and that she lunged at the officer with a kitchen knife. Mm -hmm. And I wonder what it means when she's lunging at him with right. a knife and how many witnesses there were to this. Right. Uh, she says, uh, so let's see here. Uh, <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, Mark's not here, and now I've just got his m voice playing in my head. Ian, why do you always automatically not trust the police officers? There are some good cops. There are some good <laughs> cops, but I don't really, you know, they're hard to find in a lot of cases. Why do you always just jump to the fact that the police officers are making claims? Well, I, uh, I, I everybody's going to make a claim, and I'm more likely to make the claim or to believe the claims of the people who aren't known for getting away with murder on a regular basis and who are locking peaceful people in prison cells and who, by the way, have been trained to lie. This is going to be Mark's real punishment. <laughs> Having to not be here? And having to not be here and me play devil's advocate as Mark. The toll-free number <laughs> is 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. Take control of the airwaves. Bring up whatever's on your mind here on Free Talk Live. And still to come here, we'll get to Reset the Net. Find out what that is all about. The latest on Uber and Lyft being prohibited as well. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link. You can learn how Torrent Fiends archives. Imagine a world in which out-of-control governments monitor every action of every person. Wait, that's today's world. But it's still possible to take control of your own life and your own identity. Start building a new world. Visit mathgate.info and learn basic reasoning skills. Earn pseudonymous academic credentials. That is, earn cryptographic proof that the owner of your Bitcoin address learned these skills. Apply for jobs online using your Bitcoin address instead of your name. Take control of your future. Visit mathgate.info. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938.
This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Many Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. Call 800-917-8251. 800-917-8251. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 357 while our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want here toll-free. 855-453 and join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. You just send us a contact request on Skype. It'll be approved and then after you get approved, you can easily call us any old time you want to. Take your calls about anything that happens to be on your mind. We are just loaded up with interesting stuff to talk about tonight. Still to come, the Femin, the latest from Femin, the crazy uh, stunts that some of these ladies do over in uh, Russia and Ukraine are just Stunning. And there are a lot of just extreme activists over there. <laughs> there really are, and we can get into that, plus uh, some audio from Reset the Net we're going to get into in just a moment. But one of our callers actually brought up the story about the uh, the 18-year-old special needs girl who was shot to death by police after some folks, a uh, family, apparently called 911 for medical assistance. Cops showed up and murdered their daughter within apparently 20 seconds of arriving. Wow. Uh, but first, want to let you know about ProXPN. It is a global virtual private network, and it encrypts your data, meaning that everything going in and out of your computer is encrypted before it gets to your internet service provider, which means your internet service provider will no longer be able to keep the logs of your activities that they are probably keeping on you right now. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL and get signed up there. You can take their free account and try it out. Uh, take it for a spin, and then uh, when you're ready to upgrade to premium, you can do that for 20% off the regular price. Use our discount code FTL20. You'll get it at 5 bucks a month if you order the annual plan with that code, FTL20 at ProXPN.com slash FTL. You get unlimited bandwidth with the premium account. You get servers around the world that you can connect to, as well as the ability to privately torrent. Plus, ProXPN does not keep records of your online surfing habits, and you get it all with a risk-free 7-day money-back guarantee at ProXPN.com. Slash FTL, use promo code FTL20. Um, there's a little bit more, I think, that is worthy of saying about this. And just besides the outrageous factor that a cop has shot this 18-year-old special needs girl to death, the police claim is that she was wielding a knife. Now, there's something about getting into uh, fights with guns versus knives. Right. Right. Uh, you know, the, the hand is faster than the eye, they say, right? This is an old magical, magic kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. the, you know, the, the hand is quicker than the eye. 
if you are within striking distance with a knife, someone with a gun is not going to be able to respond fast enough. Well, it's called the 20-foot rule. How do you explain that? What is so that the 20-foot rule is that if someone has a knife or a large enough blade and they're within 20 feet of you that you're probably not going to be able to shoot them. Draw right. and shoot fast enough that, that somebody with a knife actually has the advantage if they're within 20 feet. And, right. and, and that if you can beat the 20-foot rule, that's like you're someone who's considered like an expert quick draw, quick draw marksman. Supposedly. Now, maybe the cop that showed up on this scene was an expert quick draw marksman, or maybe right. she was more than 20 feet away. Right. Uh, you know, I'm not real clear on where she was in relation to the officer, but presuming that she was further than 20 right. feet away, why would this, or even I within should, 20 feet? I should, you know, put the caveat here that this is like something that's like popular in Western films and like the show Justified. Well, but it's it's <laughs> it's true. I mean, my dad has been through gun training courses and sure. things like that, and it's definitely true. Um, so... Why, in either case, even if she was more than 20 feet away or under 20 feet away, in either case, why was it necessary? If this officer had to draw and fire something, right. why couldn't he draw and fire a taser? In fact, the right. family the family is asking that very question. Right. And really? I mean, these cops spend all this time supposedly training and training on how to do takedowns and things mm -hmm. like that. Are you telling me that if somebody is armed with a knife, that an officer does not understand right. how to take that individual down with the least amount of violence necessary? I think that police, you know, I've, I've had this sort of, de you know, internal debate for a while, and I feel like it, it, police should have, they should have either firearms or tasers, not mm, both. Yeah. Not both. And, and in my... General opinion, I don't think that they should have firearms. They they obviously can't handle the responsibility. Well, isn't that the way they do it in the UK, where the average Bobby doesn't have uh, a firearm? I don't know how that works. I've, I believe that I've heard that that's right. the case. If you are over in the, the UK, and you can let us know. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. But you know the police are going to say that you know this was all A-OK, -okay and that their officer is going to be cleared right. later on down the line, because all he has to do is say he was afraid for his life, and whenever a cop says they're afraid for their lives, that's carte blanche to just start shooting people. Right. And all they have to make, you know, even if she didn't have a knife, the cop would then just simply have to say, I thought she had a knife. You right. know, if it turns out it was actually her cell phone that she was pulling out to right. call her friend or, you know, a video camera, the police will say just absolutely ridiculous things to excuse their behavior. And maybe he really did think that he was in danger. But still, even if the officer right. thought he was in danger, why not use a nightstick? Why not use a taser? Why not use okay. some sort of a takedown? Really? I mean, an 18-year-old special needs girl? Are, right. Was she that intimidating? She's a big girl. Okay. I will grant that. I, I looked at her uh, Facebook profile. That's just more momentum to manipulate with some sort <laughs> yeah, of jujitsu sure. move, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So t uh, share your thoughts here at 855-450-FREE. Tom's in New Hampshire. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Tom. Uh, yeah. The other night I was calling you guys up and saying, wouldn't it be hilarious if the bureaucrat sent me a registered voter list and forgot to delete like all the driver license numbers and social security numbers? Uh, it did not actually happen, however, but the reason that uh, I said it like that was in order to uh, make people start thinking, oh, wow, what if, what if that happened? You know, basically, I want oh, to— Oh, uh, man, I thought it actually happened. You had me going, Tom. <laughs> yeah, well, the reason I did that is to raise uh, public awareness about the absurdity of using Social Security numbers for— security passwords and then telling people that it's your duty to keep your social security number and even your date of birth a secret, which is what prompted the Utah legislature to pass a law saying they're no longer going to have the date of birth on the voter list because some guy might publish it all over the internet and that would that's uh, they're concerned about uh, identity theft. Well, the problem is that anybody can go and call up the bank and claim that they're uh, Ian Freeman. And I no, I don't live in Keene, New Hampshire anymore. I live in Hudson, New Hampshire now. So send me uh, the, the credit card to my Hudson address. And if they can rattle off some data about that person, then the bank, without even so much as a signature, will send regular mail. It doesn't even require an ID to pick up the mail. Uh, that They'll send out the credit card to that name. And then uh, next thing the victim knows is that their credit has been ruined because the, credit, the identity thief has stolen their uh, 
their name and run up all these bills that never got paid instead of requiring identification. You know, that's the, the, the right way to do it. Is the social security number, I-, I mean, the idea that that's a secret in any way, shape, or form is ridiculous. So many mm-hmm. companies uh, request that information. And in some cases, you can get around giving the information up to the company, but they will request it, and most people will go ahead and give it because they Not don't know. Not only that, but go ahead. You, you're getting uh, benefits like uh, uh, unemployment check, okay? And they say, well, you've you got to go out and look for a job, or we're going to cut off your, your government benefits, so you go out and look for a job. Every gas station and every mom-and-pop restaurant that you fill out a job application for, you got to put down your uh, Social Security number. It's true. Or they'll, they'll say that you weren't doing a good-faith uh, effort to look for a job. Thanks, Tom. So, you know, Appreciate so- it. 855-450 free. Take control of the airwaves here on Free Talk Live. Your thoughts? Coming up. You've been lied to. Lied to by corrupt Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, and I want to give you a free copy of my Inc. Magazine best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire, because Wall Street's 401k and other investment plans have failed millions of Americans. After losing 35% in my IRA in the crash several years ago, I said enough. Since then, I've discovered an IRS-approved way to safely grow my money up to 12 to even 17%, cut taxes dramatically, but also have my money protected when the next crash comes. Call now to talk with a specialist to discover this little-known strategy to potentially build a million-dollar tax-free retirement income, get potential 12 to 17% returns, and never lose when the next crash hits. Call 888-885-8820 and discover this tool that people like Walt Disney and J.C. Penney used to safely grow rich. Plus, get one of just 97 free books left. We even cover shipping and handling. Call 888-885-8820. 888-885-8820. Again, that's 888-885-8820. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Imagine for a moment... A radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. 
Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Reset the net. We will find out more about what that is. It's happening today. Uh, we've got some audio here, and uh, Johnson has been looking into it. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That is brought to you by ProXPN, and you can join us online at freetalklive.com. Those other talk show hosts charge you for their sites. We give it away, so enjoy it. Freetalklive.com. You know, there are a whole bunch of reasons that somebody like you, perhaps, might want a second passport or to go so far as to renounce your citizenship. Last year, by the way, was an all-time record for people renouncing their U.S. citizenship. But people do this all over the world. And whether it's governmental intrusion on privacy or protest against foreign policy to protect your wealth, avoid pointless regulations, onerous taxation, or as a refugee, you might want to get a second passport or change your citizenship. Check out the St. Kitts program at passportsforbitcoin.com obviously they take bitcoin it's just another way that bitcoins can offer you more freedom passportsforbitcoin.com as we continue here we've got your calls and thoughts welcome we go to ryan in florida ryan you're on via skype our skype username is lrn.fm hello there do we have ryan in florida ryan going once Ryan in Florida going twice, maybe having some audio difficulties. We're going to put Ryan on hold, and uh, we'll try him back a little bit later on. Maybe he can clear up whatever the issues were. So let's jump into this Reset the Net. Johnson, you provided a sort of a little introductory video mm -hmm. about this. We're going to play the audio here. It's just, uh, just under two minutes in length, and, uh, and the, whenever they're not actually narrating what's on screen, I'll let you know what it's saying. So the video uh, starts from ResetTheNet.org. It starts out by saying that the internet is, and then it says freedom. Uh, the internet is openness. The internet is fear. The internet is oppression. The internet is control. It's turning red. It's looking scarier. And uh, we're going to actually continue that here. Oh, in a moment, because Ryan is, I think, actually with us here this time. His mic was muted. Uh, Ryan, last chance. Are you with us? All right. Maybe what's happening is our... Uh, our sound card is broken, because sometimes that happens. Hmm. We use the nope. internet to be ourselves. It might be Ryan. But governments are building a prison around it. We have to stop them, but how? They seem so vast and powerful. But government spies have a weakness. They can hack anybody, but they can't hack everybody. Folks like the NSA depend on collecting insecure data from tapped fiber. They depend on our mistakes, mistakes we can fix. The plan? Reset the net. Together, on June 5th, one year after Snowden's first NSA story, we all take one powerful step to turn off government spying and turn on freedom. The call is simple. Find some territory of the internet that you can protect from prying eyes. Seize it and hold it. Are you a developer? Promise to add one NSA-resistant feature to your app. Are you an internet user? Promise to try one NSA-resistant privacy tool. Got a website or Tumblr? Run our splash screen on June 5th to show the world we're resetting the net. This is our moment to rally and realize our power. Without needing anyone's permission, we can decide our future, one that's safe, open, and free. It won't be easy, but if we work hard now, the internet will never be a prison. Reset the net. Are you in? Sign up. So it looks like it's the same group of people that were involved with, um, I forget what it was, but there was another sort of internet freedom sort of coalition like this. You've got the EFF group, Electronic Frontier Foundation, the Libertarian Party, uh, Code Pink's involved in this. So, you know, it crosses political Oh, borders. yeah, it definitely crosses. I mean, you've got the Libertarian Party, and, you know, and 
along with move on you know you've got the aclu's involved the, ACLU, the pirate party uh, google you know yeah, google dropbox twitter mozilla is uh is involved so yeah i mean this is a pretty amazon big deal. cloudflare this is uh this is a pretty big deal and uh you know is it are people going to do this are people going to take the steps because steps are necessary we have talked about them in the past you know some of the ideas as far as what you can do and and this uh, this website resetthenet.org does give specific suggestions and that's that's helpful you know what is it that you can do uh as a developer as a web uh, master but also i think most importantly as an individual uh using the internet what are some uh, what would you recommend johnson what are some steps i I think one of the things that's really interesting is this privacy pack that they're offering um yeah is that they've, they've essentially they're offering a series of applications that you can download to uh you know help protect yourself um they've they're offering uh chat secure tech secure red phone and i think you've talked about some of these these are phone apps yeah so they're when you go to their website resetthenet.org you click on the privacy pack then there's stuff for your phone there's stuff for macintosh there's stuff for windows and linux sure and uh so yeah we have talked about some of these apps before tech secure i used tech secure right on uh, on a phone and I, I presume oh wait no it's not available for uh, for apple but if you've got an android uh and then apparently there's a chat secure as well for the phone for both android and uh, and ios devices which these are ways for you to text sure. other people and have those texts encrypted but I now, still... they don't mention CryptoKit, right? Which I think we should mention because that's probably been mentioned before. It's true. Here. They they don't mention it right up front. Um, you know, there are a lot of apps out there, and I imagine they can't mention everything here. Right. Uh, CryptoKit's a pretty handy thing. That's only for Chrome, so that wouldn't work on a phone. Right, right. Sure. Um, so, you know, if a lot of people have phones, in fact, it's getting to the point where almost everyone has a phone, a smartphone, I mean, I right. guess I should say. What is it, 60% of Americans or something like that I have a so. smartphone? It's high, yeah. It was 50% last year, and now it's right. 60%. So uh, Red Phone, this is an app that actually allows you to talk encrypted, to have a, an encrypted conversation. Right. But there are still people, Johnson, who will say that these apps could be, uh, you know, that they could be insecure as well, like that there are security issues with apps like this. Sure, but every step, I mean, think about it, all these different security packages and all these secure things that are happening, I mean, it's it's just, it's... Turn it into a rat's nest, you know, like Mm -hmm. make make it more difficult. Sure, because it makes it insanely difficult. I mean, you got to know, you know, maybe that one app does become insecure, but then they're going to have to maintain a database, and like they're, you know, these security experts or you know these security hackers at at the NSA are going to have to know all these crazy amounts of different techniques and whatnot to try and hack into these individual bits of software. The thing that's I mean, it's making it much, much more complicated. No doubt. And, you know, even if it turns out that the NSA actually programmed the tech secure program uh, and the, the, the statement about these things are that they're open source so that anyone can right. examine it. But that's also what they said about TrueCrypt. And then TrueCrypt just, what, two weeks ago or something came out, this encryption program right. for computers. The designers pulled it offline and they put up messages that said that uh, it's insecure. Right. How could this program have gone on for 10 years as an open source program and uh, and have been insecure? But at the same time, there was an independent audit that found that it was pretty much secure, had some minor issues, but it was basically secure. So there's still some big question marks out there about a lot of uh, the security software. But, you know, one thing's for sure, with, with an app like TechSecure, when you're sending a text message, normally it just goes out in the clear to your uh, cell phone provider. They take it and they pass it along to whatever other cell phone provider you're sending it to. And both cell phone providers in those cases have a copy of that text message. And any police officer who wants to can subpoena that information from those right. companies. If you encrypt it and a police officer comes along. If those companies hold on to that. Some, it dep- some hold on to it for different lengths of time. Right. Some just a few days, some a few weeks. Um, but anyway, if the uh, if the cops actually come to your phone company and they say, let us have the text logs of this person, and you've been using text secure, now the thing is, the other party has to be using the encryption uh, program as well. Mm-hmm. So if you've been using Tech Secure and they look at your texts, it's going to look like garbage. It will be completely unreadable, and that you know is is a really valuable thing. Plus, this software is free, by the way. Right. 
So I've got bad news and good news that I'll, okay. I guess I'll share after the break. About? Uh, about this exact topic that we're talking about. About privacy or the reset the net thing? Uh, about privacy in okay. general. We'll come back with that. And if you've got some privacy tools that you're a big fan of, we've only talked about the phone apps, so there's some computer apps as well here that we can share with you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE and the website resetthenet.org. Are you willing to take steps to protect your privacy? Because nobody else is going to do it for you. It's Free Talk Live. Would you like to meet like-minded people from all over and have a spectacular vacation while sharing ideas about liberty, free markets, and individual rights? If so, Cato University is for you. Cato University is the Cato Institute's premier educational event. Cato University brings together outstanding faculty and participants from across the globe, all sharing a commitment to liberty and learning. Cato University's widening popularity is due not only to the quality of the attendees, faculty, and topics, but to the opportunity it provides you to form new and enduring friendships and for sharing experiences and perspectives in a one-of-a-kind, engaging environment. This year's Cato University is being held at the Rancho Bernardo Inn, a beautiful, quiet resort just north of San Diego. Cato University runs from July 27th to August 1st, to plan your trip to Cato University or for more information, visit CatoUniversity.org. Imagine an acne treatment breakthrough that even Proactive says is better than Proactive. Announcing all new Proactive Plus, the revolutionary new way to clear your skin from the number one name in acne care. Proactive Plus is our best, most effective solution ever. And when you call 1-800-721-4255 today, you can have it tomorrow. Proactive Plus is the modern acne miracle that treats your skin beautifully. The plus means more. More precise, targeted medicine for faster, gentler acne prevention. And more skin-loving solutions so your complexion can look bright and beautiful. I am just so happy with Proactive Plus. I don't think my skin has ever looked this good. Call 1-800-721-4255. Be one of the first to try Proactive Plus. Guaranteed 100% risk-free. You won't see this limited-time offer on TV. It's a radio exclusive. 1-800-721-4255. 1-800-721-4255. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $40 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $40 price only lasts through Porkfest, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free 
Talk Live. Bring up anything that you want right here. Toll free. 855-450. Free. Take control of these airwaves. And you can do it on Skype as well. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. With you tonight in studio, Ian here. And Johnson. All right. So we're going to go into your phone calls and thoughts. More on the reset the net privacy uh, thing that's happening today across the internet. Uh, what can you do as an individual? We don't really have time to, or you don't have the interest in getting in the website thing. If you're a webmaster that got specific recommendations at right. resetthenet.org, if you are a server operator, uh, you can learn more about that. But what can the average person do? What can the average person with a laptop, a cell phone, a desktop computer, what can you do to help uh, resist the NSA to prevent them from tapping into your conversations and invading your privacy. We'll uh, look into that a little bit deeper, plus uh, some interesting news about portable devices and your privacy, as well as far as searches from other government agencies that Johnson has to share. And, uh, man, we've got so much on the plate tonight, I don't want to tease too much, and I know I already have. There's also the, <laughs> the Uber story, another Uber update. They're in trouble in Virginia. North American Bitcoin Conference. This time, it moves to Chicago. They've had one in Miami. This one's going to be in Chicago July 19th and 20th. We've got the plane tickets. Mark and I are going to be there. Uh, and there are all kinds of other speakers that are going to be there, including Vitalik Buterin from Ethereum, as well as Brock Pierce from Investing in Digital Currency, Charlie Lee of Litecoin, Jeff Berwick of the Do Dollar Vigilante, and uh, BitPay's Tony Gallippi, Roger Veer, a.k.a. Bitcoin Jesus. See them and many more. Go to btcchicago.com. You can, of course, pay in Bitcoin. And uh, it's happening again July 19th and 20th at Chicago's McCormick Place South Building North American Bitcoin Conference, btcchicago.com. Let's go to... Oh. I was going to say, maybe we'll get to the Uber story if Uber George calls in. Is Perhaps that, so. Do we call him that now? I think so, yeah. <laughs> so it's his job title. And <laughs> former t Formerly known as TSA George, he started working for Uber, and uh, and now maybe he won't be anymore because uh, right. Virginia Uber is in trouble. BTCChicago.com, check that out. Let's go to the phones here. Ryan is on the line on Skype, and I think we actually have him this time. We tested it there during the break. Go ahead, Ryan. Hey, guys. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yep. Go ahead with your thoughts. All right, so I just wanted to bring up briefly is um, it kind of has to do with reset the net. Um, it's just basic fundamental information collecting. Uh, when I when I was in school, we called it like bibliographies or works cited. I think it's really important for the basic internet user to always make sure the information they're gathering online or throughout their life in books or anything they know where they're gathering their information from, because. In today's modern age, everybody has, you know, a tablet or a cellular device or a laptop. So they get a lot of their information more readily at their fingertips from the Internet rather than the TV or the newspaper. So I think it's really important, you know, as you're browsing the Internet to make sure you're on sites that, you know, have correct information rather than like. But how do you know that ultimately? I mean, how can you know if a site has correct information? I mean, ultimately, I really wasn't ready for that question, but ultimately, when it comes down to it, I mean, we all have our beliefs. I mean, in our it, like, we know right from wrong. And as you're doing your researches online, you find people that, you know, say, I don't even know, like college professors stuff like I've that. I've got that an example for you. I've got an example yeah, for you that's really interesting. So I personally discovered as I was looking around. Um, through all the anti-vaccine websites that are out there. There's so many of the anti-vaccine movement, yep. right? And so Mark I, doesn't vaccinate his son. Right. And so as I was looking through all these different anti-vaccine sites, one of the things I personally discovered is that all of them are linked to two doctors. Oh, is that right? <laughs> like almost all of the anti-vaccine website information all comes from um, two guys who are like, uh, it's uh, Dr. Joseph McCullough and Dr. Mehmet Oz. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, both of those guys, both affiliated with Oprah, and uh, hmm. and uh, Oprah's behind it all. Yeah, it's it's just well, it's interesting. I think you know that they are funding this whole anti-vaccine thing, and then making huge amounts of money off of sure. all the literature and all the the fervor and fear. I mean, essentially, selling what it is, products. It's, there's products you can buy, right? Right. They're books. selling fear mongering books and all this stuff. 
and it's all linked to these two guys. It's well, they're, they're modern that. snake oil salesmen. Yeah, no, you no could, they're just churning out a huge amount of websites. I think the best thing you can do is to not rely on your trust of one source or another, mm-hmm. but to try to find both sides or all three sides or whatever the you know the perspectives are on right. any given issue. You know, for instance, in the police, uh, with the story with the police shooting the 18-year-old girl. There's going to be a different narrative on a standard news site as you might get from the uh, Angel Clark site, which is, you know, I was actually pulling information from both of those sources when we were talking about this. What's the real truth? We won't, wouldn't know sure, unless right. we were actually there or unless there was an, a real objective video that happened to capture right, all the necessary exactly. aspects. And I'm sure my anecdotal information about what I personally discovered as I was looking through those anti-vaccine sites has probably just enraged <laughs> a, a bunch of people. I'm sure, yeah, <laughs> because they've got, they've got their websites they can point to, and uh, you know, there's the other side of it. And, and of course, people can do studies, and right. they can have certain goals for those studies, and what do you know? The study backs up what it was that they were looking to find in the first place. And there's just, you know, you really have to do a lot, a lot of research and digging to have any kind of idea of what the truth is How on something. How dare you tell me that antivaxtruth.blogspot.org is not a legitimate <laughs> website? Well, normally if somebody can't afford a $9 domain name, I think that does call into question <laughs> the validity of the site. But Ryan, did you have anything else you wanted to share tonight? Well, I mean, like just upon like other information, like, I don't know, let's say like the oil spill, the Exxon Valdez spill, or say the Gulf Coast spill. Like you look at the chemicals that are used in situations like that, and they say having adverse effects, and they say, they say that the climate down there is going to be affected for, you know, decades to come. <laughs> and like, I mean, you have lo- lobbyisting platforms to support both ends, like what what is truth and what is not, you know what I yeah. mean? So I think it's important, depending on where you stand, to like always find the information there. But um. That's pretty much it, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks, your Ryan, for your I, call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. Uh, look forward to the later night show. Thank Very you, good. guys. Appreciate it, man. 855 450 free. Yeah, I mean, Hello, due man. diligence it's... is required here. You you can either select an expert and choose to believe everything that person says, which, of course, is going to end you up making some wrong choices at some point. Right. Uh, even if the expert is right today on one issue, the expert may be wrong uh, tomorrow on a different issue. Or people, something will change. People are still avoiding the beaches down on the Gulf Coast, right? I mean, you can't like take pictures of like you know just like golf oh, I don't kids know. sunning and, and so they, right. They're still. I, I don't know. It's about like an that. apocalypse on the beaches, right? I mean, you're being facetious. Yes, then. I am. <laughs> okay, yeah, because I had not heard that that was the case. Right. right. So share your thoughts at eight fifty five four fifty three. That's I think it was like maybe a few months, like you know where it was like you know oiled slick birds and all the the awful things that you could imagine, right? And that type of thing. But then it's like gone. And then, you know, the, I mean, he's right. Exactly what he, they were saying is they were saying it's going to be decades of, you know, and it's mm-hmm. like, and then the earth shows its mighty power and cleans itself up, <laughs> you know? Yeah, but then you got stories like Mark uh, said there was this place down at the end of the Mississippi River with uh, all these dead plants or whatever that right. supposedly come from upstream use of fertilizers or something like that sure and you know that but that's like kind of like an ongoing kind of situation yeah. i mean i think these single events they tend to resolve themselves fairly quickly because no I, th- I think you're right i mean the earth uh, n- mother nature's awfully powerful yep. more so than uh, than little ants called humans right. running around down here um, but there's always a more than one side to a story, and it's up to you to do your due diligence to find out what you think the truth is what the truth actually is is you know another question uh, so a toll-free number is 855-450 free. Back to reset the net. Some uh, some tangible things that you can do as an individual to uh, shore up your privacy mm-hmm. online. We talked about phone apps. You can go to resetthenet.org and click on their privacy pack. There's some direct links to uh, apps. Then there's actually you can click more, and there's actually more details right. on other apps. So what about your Macintosh? Maybe you're a Mac user. There's something called Adium or Adium that is a... They're mentioning Adium and Pigeon, which are both uh, their instant messenger applications. Mm-hmm. Um, they're basically the same thing, Adium for Mac, Pigeon for... Pigeon for Windows. Yeah, for Windows. And I use Pigeon. I've been using Pigeon for years and years and years. It's sort of a replacement for... Uh... Yeah, but Pigeon isn't by default <laughs> encrypted. No, Pigeon is by... Actually, P- Pigeon by default is very not encrypted. It stores your password in plain text. Yikes! That's yeah. no good. Well, they they're very open about it. They're like it's it's stored in plain text. You better do something about it. <laughs> you know, to get people to solve that problem. So, and I think that's it's smart and uh, it's a great application. Wow, I, mean, I had no idea Pigeon stores passwords in plain you text. You didn't know that, do you? They use don't it? tell you that. <laughs> they don't tell you that when you install the program. So I don't think it's like out up front oh, or yeah. anything like that. 
There was uh, there was news stories. So about is the idea that ago. when you're using Pigeon, you're just supposed to put the password in every time? Because that's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, or you encrypt the pa- the, pa- the stored password file. Wow, that's crazy. So if you're encrypting the stored password file, then you'd have to de-encrypt the there's stored some, password no, file every time you way, use the there's, program? There's some way of doing that. I don't know. I haven't done it, to be honest. So. <laughs> I'm going to have to look into that yeah. one and maybe uninstall Pigeon at this point, because that's pretty crazy. Thanks. Yeah. For, uh, more no, that's here. definitely a solution to it. I'll, I'll 855, it 450 free. That's 855. That'll be our reset the net thing. We'll share the tip on how to fix that. <laughs> more on the way here. Hour two's next. It's Free Talk Live. You know Lumber Liquidators for having the best selection of flooring at the lowest prices. And right now, you can buy one floor and get 50% off another on their thickest and best dream home laminates. No games, no gimmicks, just huge savings off already ridiculously low prices. Plus, get great deals on pre-finished hardwood and Morningstar bamboo. So go to LumberLiquidators.com to find the store nearest you. Special financing is available. But hurry, this buy one, get one sale ends Tuesday, June 3rd. Gold Bond presents Shaquille O'Neal. So I'm hanging out with my Gold Bond buddies, and they're like, Shaq, Shaq, great job with the Gold Bond powder spray. People love it. So I'm soaking in the good vibes, kicking off my shoes. Next thing I know, they're coming out with a new foot powder spray. Boom. Shaq strikes again. Gold Bond No Mess Powder Spray cools and refreshes your body, and new Gold Bond Foot Powder Spray has two times the odor-absorbing powders to do the same for your feet. Stay cool with Gold Bond. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Toll House Refrigerated Cookie Dough. Who would you bake some love for? Find fun and easy baking ideas at tollhouse.com. Kids love doing arts and crafts projects, especially when you join in. Try channeling all that artistic energy into the kitchen and bake up some creative treats together. Think of your art supplies as the frosting, sprinkles, and decorating gels, and use cookies or cupcakes as your canvas. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, June 5th, 2014. Silver is trading at $18.83 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,245 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $655. Antiwar.com reports, a U.S. drone fired missiles at a pickup truck in the Marib province of Yemen yesterday, destroying the vehicle and killing four people within. Tribal sources said the truck belonged to a mid-level Al-Qaeda commander. The commander, identified as Jafar al-Shabwani, was believed to be one of the four people killed in the strike, though the identities of the other three are completely unknown beyond being labeled suspects. This is considerably more detailed than most victims of U.S. drone strikes in Yemen get, though as usual the U.S. has offered no statement at all on the incident. Marib is one of several provinces in central and southern Yemen that is more or less entirely out of the central government control. With tribal factions the dominant forces, Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula has set up shop in some such areas, though at times they have faced major opposition from tribal leaders. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. 
Ballot Access News report. On June 4th, the Sixth Circuit Court declined to grant reconsideration to the Ohio Libertarian Party in its ballot access case. As a result, the only candidates on the November 2014 ballot for Ohio governor will be the nominees of the Republican, Democratic, and Green parties. This news enhances the odds that the Green Party will pull at least 2% for governor and remain on the ballot for the 2016 and 2018 elections. In 2010, the Green Party got 1.5 2% for governor in a four-way race in which the Libertarian Party gubernatorial candidate pulled 2.39%. Additionally, on June 4th, Paul Zuckerberg won his lawsuit against the District of Columbia Board of Elections in the D.C. Court of Appeals. The issue is whether the 2010 ballot measure, which the voters passed, requires a 2014 election for Attorney General. The measure, as described on the November 2010 ballot, said the first election for that office would be 2014, but the actual complete language of the bill just said it would be in 2014 or later. The D.C. Board of Elections says it disagrees with the decision and will ask for reconsideration. Ballot Access News also reports that the June 3rd top two primary in California appears to have had the lowest turnout in state history. California has had primary since 1910, with the previous worst turnout being the June 2008 primary, which had no statewide offices. During the 2013 Porcupine Freedom Festival, Davi Barker presented an idea for a renegade psychological experiment. Since then, he has refined his idea and put his plan and research into writing. He explains, We aim to show the world beyond a shadow of a doubt that power corrupts absolutely and corrupt authority deserves no obedience. Authoritarian sociopathy is available from Amazon.com and all major bookstores. Antiwar.com reports Germany's federal public prosecutor has announced a criminal probe has been opened into the NSA's wiretapping of German Chancellor Angela Merkel's cell phone and that Germany will prosecute individuals found to be involved in the scheme. Prosecutor Harold Range said espionage is a crime in Germany regardless of whether those who are spying are friends or enemies. He said his office has information on specific individuals who were involved in the Merkel tap. The revelation on the Merkel tap came in October as part of the trove of documents from Edward Snowden. The White House initially denied involvement in the spying, but has since promised to never again spy on the leaders of allied nations. Germany, a nation with a long history of governments with abusive surveillance programs, has taken the NSA story particularly seriously. German opposition figures only qualm was that the probe wasn't broad enough, saying they felt it should include surveillance of all Germans, not just the Chancellor. Range said that the probe of Merkel may indeed just be a jumping off point and that he will broaden the case if the office gets more evidence on the general surveillance programs against Germany. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. As Sao Paulo struggled to dig out after last week's devastating earthquake. I'm just praying. I'm just praying and helping. One group was left with no one to care for them. There is nowhere for these homeless dogs to go. There is no food to give them. There is no clean water. These dogs are going to starve to death. I have to do the humane thing. I have to put these dogs down. O'Brady Shaw is the only journalist compassionate enough to do what has to be done. Put down 50 or 60 dogs today. I didn't want to. Let me help you! But their fate would have been much worse if I hadn't have done it. It's better this way. O'Brady Shaw goes where other reporters won't and does the jobs other reporters can't. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Gut Check with O'Brady Shaw. Live from Sao Paulo, tomorrow night, only on the Onion News Network. free that's 855-450-3733 and you can join us online just drop on by freetalklive.com and enjoy everything that we have waiting for you there do you need focus are you feeling fatigued 
trying to get the extra edge where it counts. There's so much going on all at once in our lives these days. Every moment, it seems like we just can't keep track of everything that we're doing, and it's easy to get tired. Don't you wish there was something that you could do to get you out of the rut and give you the focus you need and help you get things done? There might just be. Check into Modafinil from modup.net. That's M-O-D-U-P dot net, modup.net. Studies show one in five students are using this cognitive enhancer, offering multiple benefits, including a double-digit increase in short-term memory, fighting off fatigue, and greater focus overall so you can get things done. Businessmen around the world continue to talk about how Modafinil from modup.net is making the difference in their work and giving them the critical edge that they need. Check, uh, check out modup.net and look into it for yourself. They do offer fast delivery worldwide for guaranteed high-quality Modafinil at an amazing price, and modup.net is a supporter of the Bitcoin community, meaning that you get a discount if you pay with Bitcoin, 33% off when you order from modup.net with Bitcoin. And to make the deal even better, use the code FTL and you'll get 10 free tablets with your order. So again, use code FTL at modup.net. And remember, Free Talk Live is an international radio show, and modup.net ships worldwide. It's your responsibility to know if local prescription requirements and laws apply. So check into it yourself, do your due diligence, and go to modup.net. Get great service at a great price. Modup.net, code FTL for the extra 10 tabs. The toll-free number here tonight is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've been talking about Reset the Net. It's something that is it's kind of a, an info push that's happening today. People are getting the word right. out. Uh, they're putting up you know, banners on their websites or splash graphics to give you a heads up. There's a YouTube video that folks are sharing around. In fact, I should post the YouTube video to our Facebook and Google Plus and things like that. Uh, so you can take a look at this. But the most important thing to do is go to ResetTheNet.org and check out their recommendations for your computer. We were talking about some of the phone yeah. uh, apps earlier that you can use to help encrypt your communications. And I had I had pre-shared some that I had some good news and some bad news. And apparently, apparently, accidentally, I had some really bad news that I shared with you that was that is shocking. Uh, yeah, I was shocked. I mean, uh, apparently, if you're using a, a pigeon, which is this uh, multi-client, and thing, a lot of people are because I mean it's fantastic and it yeah, kind of replaces all you know the AM. It's it's a multi IM client. Yeah. Essentially, mm -hmm. you can uh, you can have Google Talk and you can have Yahoo and AIM and several others all rolled into to one client together. But you know, it's interesting what you were saying about apparently they're storing passwords in plain text. Yep, it'd be nice if they let people know that. Um, but you know, it's interesting as I, as, as I was looking for a solution, and I didn't find a single solution. I, I did find that there are plugins uh, to encrypt your password. Okay. And it, it, it's actually funny. Google apparently donated to Pigeon to help improve its security. Huh. That essentially Google got involved because, I mean, it connects to Google. So, I mean, obviously they have some incentive to... Uh, Protect their customers. You know, to protect their customers and get more people because, they, you know, a lot of people have been talking about using, uh, you know, Google+. Plus. So, um, yeah, I mean, but I, I, unfortunately, I have not found one single solution that I can just sort of point people to. Uh, but, hey, well, apparently you're aware solution, now if you use Pigeon. <laughs> right, apparently the solution is to not let this, these chat programs store your password. Because right. not just Pigeon, but all the others apparently are completely easily hackable. Yeah, very easily hackable. And it's it, basically what they say is, is that... Uh, don't store your password, you know, don't don't store your password at all for your instant messenger because, you know, a lot of them are very, very easily hackable and they're not really uh, strongly encrypted. And if you look up um, Pigeon and it's P-I-D-G-I-N, if you use Pigeon and Pigeon in plain text, there is a fantastic uh, link at developer.pigeon.im. Uh, on, their, on the Pigeon Wikipedia that talks about why they made the decision to, and I'll, I'll send that to you actually. Maybe you mm -hmm. can post it. I mean, I don't know how it's pretty geeky. I don't know how many people are be interested in it, but you know, we can post it to the Facebook profile and see. Um, but it talks about why they made the decision. I mean, there are a lot of reasons. I mean, they've it's it was a very very thought out decision. They didn't willy nilly just say, yeah. ah, we're going to store things in plain text. That they deemed was the most secure thing to do is to get people to be you know to to be a little bit more aware of it, I guess. Hmm. And well, according to uh, SciFace, he says that you can actually find this quote on ResetTheNet.org. Uh, Pigeon and Adium, which is the Macintosh multi IM mm -hmm. client. Uh, if you uh, Pigeon and Adium, regarding those, if you believe you may be the specific target of surveillance, these are not the tools for you. Pigeon has had a large number of remotely exploitable vulnerabilities recently, 
and auditors are looking at the and auditors looking at the code believe there are likely to be many more. Still, these tools are effective against passive mass surveillance, and they're unusually easy to use. Right. So, you know, again, these these aren't perfect solutions. None of these are perfect solutions to to privacy. But it's the idea of building some barriers, putting sure. up some you know difficulties for a hacker and there, or an NSA agent to get through. And there's always going to be uh, you know more and more vulnerabilities that get exposed as time goes on. I mean, and they'll continue closing those vulnerabilities. So right. I had mentioned that there's good news and bad news. So the bad news is, uh, is that op the Open SSL Foundation re uh, released another, you know, after this, right after Heartbleed has made another announcement, uh, I believe yesterday, mm. that has said that there's another massive vulnerability in Open SSL. So now everybody's going to have to change their passwords again? There, well, it's I don't know that everyone needs to change their passwords again because this one is sort of like a, a more, it's a man in the middle style, of, uh, makes it possible a man in the middle style of attack, which can basically disable the encryption entirely on that particular mm -hmm. connection. So yeah, maybe, maybe people will need to uh, change their passwords, but it's more and of a- A man in the middle is where someone sets up a fake server basically, let's right? Say you're in, you into... Let's say you're in a coffee shop and you think that you're accessing Facebook or something mm -hmm. like that. I don't know. I, I can't name sites off the but top of my head. You're the coffee shop store uh, admin, network admin, and you've made it look like you've set up like this. No, I wouldn't site necessarily that looks say like that Facebook. you're a coffee shop network admin. I'd just say you're, you know, more, more likely it's just going to be a hacker who's sitting okay. in the coffee shop. And, uh, you know, you spoof and, and basically get in between that person connecting, you know, they're connecting to the router in the coffee shop, then they're connecting to, you know, Facebook. Um, Again, I don't think that that's necessarily the most apt thing because I don't think Facebook uses OpenSSL. But so they, what they do is they jump in the middle. They pretend to be Facebook. This hacker pretends to be yep. Facebook, spoofs the connection, and just basically disables all security. So essentially, it makes it seem well, like they can steal your password. Yeah, easily, both. Way, yeah, right? both sides think that they're using a private password, but really they're using a public password, and then the information is not encrypted, mm -hmm. and they can then steal your real password. And and um, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, not good. Uh, but that's not like it's not like as massive. It's not like they're stealing entire databases like what they did with the Heartbleed thing. What they could, that's they could just really one person. Just, they're targeting yeah, one they person. Could, yeah, just targeting one person exactly. Uh, so uh, so again, some some recommended apps here between both Windows and Macintosh. They give you the you know the uh, the, the chat app, the Pigeon for Windows, Adium for Mac, and then Tor and Cryptocat are two of the other ones for both Windows and Mac. Tor, of course is a way of accessing what's called the dark web. It's a place where you can only go to websites that exist on the dark web. They're not accessible from the normal internet. Um, Tor protects people's, allegedly, <laughs> again, it was apparently developed by the government, uh, but allegedly protects people's privacy. And as a result of that, there are all manner of interesting things mm -hmm. available on Tor, like the Silk Road, which is an underground uh, drug market, basically, as well as other things that are you know, fake IDs, things like that. Um, so if you want to have, if you want to maximize your communication encryptedness and uh, and untraceability, then I think Tor is probably a good solution. And CryptoCat is an app that is available for Windows and Mac, and it's a plugin actually for different right. browser types. And then apparently CryptoCat actually has CryptoCat is one of the few programs that is available only on iOS devices mm -hmm. and not available on Android for some reason. Uh, so this is a way for you to connect with other people and just have a, a real-time sort of chat or near mm -hmm. real-time uh, chat with others that is allegedly encrypted. Again, there are crypto nuts out there sure. who are saying that CryptoCat is not safe. This could be run by the NSA, and nobody knows, and, you know, you got to be careful out well, there. I want to pre-sell it again because I haven't said it yet, but, uh, you know, I've only shared the bad news, but there is some good news. Potentially good news, anyway, uh, uh, okay. about the security, about right. security and uh, your Great. Well, we'll come back with some good news in moments. This is Free Talk Live. The first human mission to Mars barely averts disaster when a meteorite strikes the spacecraft, nearly destroying it. Too far from Earth to turn back, the eight-person crew desperately struggle to survive as they ride their crippled ship to the red planet. The future of human spaceflight hangs in the balance. Hugo Award-winning author Ben Bova and NASA scientist Les Johnson craft a thrilling white-knuckle ride with Rescue Mode. Available now at fine booksellers everywhere. 
You know Lumber Liquidators for having the best selection of flooring at the lowest prices. And right now, you can buy one floor and get 50% off another on their thickest and best dream home laminates. No games, no gimmicks, just huge savings off already ridiculously low prices. Plus, get great deals on pre-finished hardwood and Morningstar bamboo. So go to LumberLiquidators.com to find the store nearest you. Special financing is available. But hurry, this buy one, get one sale ends Tuesday, June 3rd. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. This week, badly shaken researchers reported observing an osprey stalking, killing, and devouring an adult male lion in what is being called a massive food chain shakeup. Confirmation of the three pound marine bird consuming the 400 pound feline has biologists scrambling to determine the new predator prey connections between the planet's billions of organisms. We seem to be experiencing some sort of cross species dietary free for all. Scientists say that the killing of the healthy, full grown lion by a typical osprey specimen has lent credibility to recent reports of a deer seen grazing on a nest of squirrels in Wisconsin, as well as a claim made by a group of Japanese fishermen who say they witnessed 300 million krill devouring a 40-ton humpback whale. In other news, NASA acquires the moon for an upcoming Kennedy Space Center exhibit. A radio DJ invites the whole town to some bullshit, and assuming the many universes theory of quantum mechanics is accurate, the review you've just seen will remain relevant in another reality for all eternity. For more, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. If you want to move to the free state And you're looking for some real estate Well, I know a guy who's really great It's the realtor Mark Warden Do you want a home with 20 acres A lakeside cabin Any takers for renters Buyers and sellers too Mark Warden is the guy for you PorcupineRealEstate.com you can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. Bring up anything toll free here. The number 855 450 free. And that is the Pro XPN toll-free line. You can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com. we got a lot of features. We give them away, so enjoy it all. And you can actually create the content of the website at freetalklive.com. Porcupine Freedom Festival. It's just over two weeks away at this point. About two and a half weeks. And you could be there with, oh, I don't know, maybe 1,500 or so other liberty-minded people all hanging out in the same campground, Rogers Campground in the northern part of New Hampshire and beautiful uh, White Mountains. Just absolutely tremendous view. Uh, the vista is spectacular. And the people are awesome and amazing. People, I saw some c- comments online today. One guy said, 
in a conversation on Facebook about someone going to P- Pork Fest that he went in 2010 for 48 hours and it changed his life. Mm. So, I mean, wow, just uh, it's it's an amazing experience. We're going to yeah, be broadcasting every night live from the Porcupine Freedom Festival, and not just us. There are all kinds of other great uh, shows from LRN.FM. They're going to be up there. But it's not a radio festival or something like that. It's a camping festival put on by the Free State Project. The idea of the Free State Project is to move liberty activists all to the same geographic area so we can actually make a difference. We can actually hopefully have a chance at having some freedom, some liberty in our lifetime. In fact, Johnson, you've got some interesting news out of New Hampshire I do. that is related to privacy. Is this what is the good news you were going to talk it about? It is, yep. All right, we'll get into yes. that. But first, yep. go to porkfest.com, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T.com. And uh, it's too late to get your tickets online, but you can still show up in person and buy them for the whole week or buy a day pass. Porkfest, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. By the way, it's June 22nd through the 29th, so it's coming up and it'll be here fast. We'll look forward to seeing you there. So, Johnson, what is the, the good news? We've been talking about ways to protect your privacy online. You have to take steps to mm-hmm. do this. You can't count on somebody else to do it. But every now and then there is a nice thing that will happen out of your control. Right, especially in New Hampshire. So yesterday, the New Hampshire House and Senate gave final approval to a bill which bans government officials from obtaining information contained in a portable electronic device without hmm. a warrant. Wow. Uh, it was, and it's without a warrant signed by a judge and based on probable cause. Hmm. It now goes to the governor's desk for a signature. So, Does anyone know whether she's actually going to sign it, though? I, mean, I, I can't imagine certainly she will. hope so. I mean, I hope she would. I mean, the House and Senate both approved it. I mean, Yeah, but be- is it by a veto-proof margin? I don't know. But why would – I mean, it seems like that would be a really politically unpopular move to uh, – It does seem that way, but she vetoed yep, I know. <laughs> uh, you know, decriminalization. I know. So uh, let me give a little and, bit – And of- she, her job is to protect the executive branch. I mean, she wants the police to have more power. Yeah. So, I, you know, I, I hesitate to report on stories like this. There was another story today about New Hampshire protecting, you know, some sort of bill that protects people from the NSA. Sure. And again, it got, yeah, it got passed by the Senate and the House. And but- that's good news. There's no doubt. Stuff like this probably wouldn't pass in California or New York or whatever. Right. Like, it wouldn't even get this far. But please, I mean, by all means, here's my personal me- message to Maggie Hassan. By by all means, please veto this bill so that people can hold signs and say, Maggie Hassan wants the NSA to spy on you. Right? Yeah, sure. I mean, sure. Like, it, is let's election, just, it is election season yep. here in New Hampshire. So please, by all means, it would be nice to be able to ferry you right out of office. <laughs> well, we'll see how it goes this uh, this year. But uh, I, I was going to say, I'd like to share a little bit more information about what the bill, you know, what this bill actually says, because I think okay, it's kind sure. of interesting. So it's House Bill 1533, introduced by Representative Neil Kirk. Um, mm. And again, it pa- Oh, and by the way, this passed the House and Senate, both the House and Senate, by unanimous votes. What? By unanimous votes. That's shockingly You've amazing. Re- right. Wow. I'm, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Be... I'm sorry. I should say, and this is a term uh, that maybe I don't know. Unanimous voice votes. Voice vote would be so. Okay, when they take a voice vote, it means that they're not actually a record of who voted what. Normally, okay. in the at least in the New Hampshire State House, I've never been to the wherever the Senate has their little meetings. Mm-hmm. But at the the State House, you know, there's 400 people in there. They've got these little punch buttons on right. the, the seats in front of them. That they can hit yes or no when right. they're voting on something, and whenever they vote that way, it's called a roll call vote. Okay. And uh, every person is assigned a certain seat, so it's easy for a computer to discern who voted in what way. Someone can put up a, a motion for a, a, a voice vote, and that's right. where they just you know all in favor, aye, yeah. against, nay. That way, somebody can say nay right. and not have it be known who they were. So there is a caveat to this. So let me okay. get into that. Yeah, there's a little bit of a eh. Well, the warrant. They can still search with a warrant. Well, sure. There's more of an eh than that, though. All right. Government entity. You know, so this is what the bill. Uh, so the bill sets up a direct legal conflict with federal surveillance programs as well. It reads, in part, government entity means a federal, state, county, or local government agency, including but not limited to a law enforcement agency or any other investigative entity agency, department, division, bureau, board, or commission, or an individual acting or purporting to act for or on behalf of a federal, state, county, or local government agency. So that sounds really good. 
However, it gets it's, it continues to say government entity shall not apply to a federal government agency to the extent that federal statute preempts state statute. Okay, so meaning that uh, the feds can still take your phone and look through it if they want. Potentially, and that's why I want to continue reading this article because there's there's an interesting thing that's been going on here, and it exposes something else that's been going on with these security agencies. So the Tenth Amendment Center communications director Mike Mahari sees the inclusion of federal agencies in this call. Uh, clause as an important part of the bill, including federal agencies in this prohibition on obtaining electronic information without a warrant does two important things, he said. It will force the federal courts to take a position on the constitutionality of mass federal surveillance programs since federal statute cannot preempt if it's not constitutional in the first place. Hmm. He said, it also brings to the forefront front that each state does indeed have a role to play in rejecting unconstitutional spying programs, whether they're state or federal. Meharry said that it would be highly improbable for HB 133 to actually stop federal fire spying programs in the state. Sure. So there are other parts of the bill that would have immediate impact on the Practice, uh, the practice effect of the surveillance. NSA collects, stores, and analyzes data on countless millions of people without a warrant and without even the mere suspicion of criminal activity. The NSA tracks the physical location of people through their cell phones. In late 2013, the Washington Post reported that the NSA gathered is gathering nearly 5 billion records a day on the whereabouts of cell phones around the world. Mm. This includes the location data of tens of millions of Americans each year without a warrant. Through fusion centers, state and local law enforcement act as information recipients from various federal departments under information sharing environment. ISE. ISE partners include the Office of, of the Director of National Intelligence, which is an umbrella covering 17 federal agencies and organizations, including the NSA. State and local law enforcement share data up the chain with the feds. The NSA hmm. expressively shares warrantless data with state and local law enforcement sure agencies do. through a super secret DEA unit yep. known as the Special Operations Division. And that information is being used for criminal prosecutions. A Reuters report last fall showed that most of this data uh, has absolutely nothing to do with national security issues, and most of it involves routine criminal investigations. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we heard about that a little while back. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can share your thoughts on privacy and more on the way. It's Free Talk Live. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM-1 from Terragonics. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM-1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM-1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terragonics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free, 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. 
Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency, and Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available right now. Learn it, use it, and spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. The Shire Free Church offers a sanctuary to those seeking an escape from state churches. The Shire Free Church is an interfaith, diverse group of people that may not share identical theological beliefs. As a member in or minister of the Shire Free Church, you are a sovereign individual and may be the faith of your choice. We don't claim to have all of the answers. We are open to all peaceful people. We want to learn from each other. What unifies the Shire Free Church and its diverse members is peace, love, and liberty. There are many paths to God, one for every individual. The Shire Free Church does not define a specific path beyond those parameters that must be your foundation. Peace as your way, love as your guide, and liberty as your light. Learn more at church.shiresociety.com. That's church.shiresociety.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Bring up anything here toll-free, 855-453. That is the Pro XPN toll-free line. We've got Skype. You can Skype into the show. Our username is lrn.fm. And you can join us online. Go to freetalklive.com. So I think we can finally break the big news. At least that's the impression I've been given. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Awesome. Cashintocoins.com is now ExpressCoin. Now, Cashintocoins.com hasn't disappeared. I mean, the same people are still behind ExpressCoin. It's just that they've rebranded, and now ExpressCoin is the best choice for buying Bitcoins or Dogecoin. <laughs> More easy. Wow. So fast, much legal, wow, inexpensive. ExpressCoin still prides themselves on customer service, so much so that their back end on their website should allow them to be even more focused on meeting your needs as a customer. Get your cryptocurrencies with money order, check, or wire transfer by starting off at ExpressCoin.com. You can even do it from your smartphone by downloading the app at ExpressCoin.com. And I went and I signed up for their account. It was pretty easy uh, to do. ExpressCoin.com. It's now the, the new Cash into coins, right. now known as expresscoin.com. <laughs> it's so funny to me that Dogecoin is a thing. <laughs> yeah, th those are the only two things you can buy on ExpressCoin now. <laughs> so um, anyway, so Johnson, you were telling about this New Hampshire piece of legislation that mm -hmm. has passed, and you were saying well, that it's going to make yeah, it, it so— mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah, right. It, it has passed the House and the Senate. It right. has not—and and unanimously by a voice vote, which is huge— uh, so presumably it will be signed. We don't know for sure, right? But that's pr presumably what will come next. I mean, it would be crazy political suicide to for a governor to veto something that was unanimously passed, right? Now it protects uh, cell phones and devices portable, from police search. Portable devices, yeah. From from police search without a warrant, meaning that uh, if the cops pulled you right. over, because by the way, in New Hampshire they apparently also passed some awful new legislation that will restrict the use of cell phones in a car. But what an interesting what an interesting law too that they can't get any they can't obtain any information contained in a portable electronic device. That's a very broad definition. The guy who wrote that Neil Kirk is one of the better state reps. He's a right. real privacy nut. In fact, he's Excellent. he's such a privacy nut that sometimes he's wrong on things. Mm -hmm. 
like uh, he actually opposed the police being able to have cameras mounted to them. Right. This guy spoke against that because right. he was worried about the police coming to his door and recording him in his bathrobe. Right. So, I mean, that's how much of a privacy nut Don't this open guy your door. is. <laughs> well, he doesn't know that. The right. average person yeah, doesn't yeah. know that. And that was when he was thinking about the bill. I that's wonder what if he's he also one of these people who's anti, you know, filming. He actually um, did propose some sort of legislation to restrict drones' use of cameras as okay. well, which was not a good thing either. Right. Yeah. So, like, he's total privacy, privacy nut, even if it infringes on your personal private property, sure. which would be a drone in that case. I don't know. I, you know, to be honest, I, I'm personally a little uh, on the fence about the uh, drone filming. Really? I don't want police drones filming to be honest you know like just going around flying over people's property because they can film your private property at that point you know yeah i, I know what it's you're an saying angle there. that really it's it, it just but it's then you would be restricting private photographers and as a photographer johnson i would think you would have an appreciation I, for the no, idea that- i have no problem with private ph- photographers taking pictures on public property Rogers Campground isn't public property. It's a it's piece of private but, property. Sure, but every you know the people there are under the understanding that they have the permission from Rogers Campground to be taking photographs. Do they? Yes. I mean, I guess they if do. you specifically asked, asked, I don't you think would... you have to specifically ask at a public event, at a publicly open event like that. Yeah, it's still private property. I, that, if that's you the start thing. taking, this if legislation... you start taking pictures, if you go into a restaurant or a grocery store and you start taking pictures, a lot of times they will ask you to leave, and you no, should. I, I, no, I agree. I mean, if I walk into a, a restaurant with a video camera, if I'm in downtown Keene and was out uh-huh. doing some activism, and I've got a camera with me, I'm gonna. Ask the uh, the you know the people when I come in. Hey, is it all right if I you know? I shoot mean, there some was video a, there was an here. incident here where there's a little friction amongst local activists when Garrett recently was filming in the Cumberland Farms, and he yeah. was asked to leave. And some people he was were, outside the Cumberland. He farms, was outside the yeah. Cumberland Farms, but he was at he was on their property clearly, right. and he did leave. He backed. He was at you know he he when he was said hey you're you're not allowed to be here anymore. He did back up and he continued filming from the sidewalk. He continued filming from public property, right. so what the public could see. And so that's a good thing, but there were actually there was some whinging. Amongst, but you don't own the airspace above your property sure. either. Actually, yes, you do. And so I don't there think was, so. Yes, Otherwise, you you'd be able to prevent a plane Studied from flying. Studied real estate it. law. You do. You open. Okay. You open. I now say that no planes may fly over my house. That's ridiculous. No, you don't actually, own that space. Uh, you actually, you absolutely do own that space, and the government has an easement by for rights planes. for planes. Yes, you own from your property to the center of the earth and to space. It's actually that's the way it's written. <laughs> That's actually the way all real estate laws are. You written. serious? Your property right here, you own the airspace, your exact uh-huh. property lines, all the way up to space, that doesn't and make all any the way sense. down to the center of the earth. You absolutely own that. Wow. Yep. That's crazy. And in fact, you could sell a portion of your property as mineral rights. So, for example, if you wanted to allow a company to come and frack mm-hmm. under your property, regardless mm-hmm. of how it affects the neighbors. You could do so because you own the mineral rights. So you could allow someone to come and try and extract oil from under your property, whether it was there or not. Well, okay. So is the idea that uh, you have to be a certain height up in order to fly over someone's property? Or do you have to be a licensed aircraft? I think you'd probably have to be a licensed aircraft and you'd have to be, you know, you'd be submitting to the regulations of the FAA. So then are you saying that if. In uh, order to get access to that easement. So, point of clarification. So here in New Hampshire and Keene, last year during the Pumpkin Festival, there were some snipers up on one of the rooftops, multiple mm-hmm. rooftops right. in downtown Keene. One man climbed up the fire escape of one of these roofs to get a photograph of the men that were I up almost there. guarantee you that they had permission from the building owner, yeah. That wasn't going to be what I was going oh, to okay. ask. Uh, so, the, so if somebody were to fly a drone up there, are you saying it would be legal— for those men on the building to shoot the drone from the sky. If they were protecting, if the building, wow. you know, if, mean, again, if, I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> if you own the airspace above your building up to a certain point where planes, because obviously the drone is not going to fly as high up as sure, a plane would right. fly. So, you know, the drone's going to be 20 feet above the building or something like that. It's going to be well within your supposedly well, owned airspace. Let me ask Does that you mean you have the right to take it out? Well, let me ask you this. If a car comes and drives onto your, somebody's car comes and drives onto your property, do you have the right to destroy their car? 
Um, I mean, I, I don't know. Did they just right? crash through the wall of your house? <laughs> if, if so, then maybe you do have the right to destroy their car. <laughs> I don't think that you necessarily do. I, I don't know. You know, like, it, you know. I don't know. I don't okay. know. I don't know the law on that. So yeah, and by the way, the drone legislation did not pass, from what I understand. Right. So that's not a, an issue here. Anyway, I was just kind of telling you more about the the guy who sure. wrote this particular legislation. He's good on privacy issues, but sometimes he's too I good think, on it. I think a car is one of the. Th- I think a car is a bad thing, and maybe, yeah, well, here with a car, the, these are the thoughts just going through my head. So I'm going to share my thought process here. With a car, there's a title, right? So yeah. you can't transfer ownership of a car. Because without transferring the title. So if somebody parks their car on your property, right, you don't just gain ownership to it. However, if I were to take off my shirt and leave my shirt here, yep. right, I think you would be with, well within rights to take my shirt, burn it, destroy it, do whatever you want with it well, because I left it on your property. Okay, that, that brings up the question of what is abandoned property, right? right. So if you leave your car in uh, on my property, at some point it becomes mine, right? right? And the question is at what point? And should your car be given more time before it becomes mine than your shirt? Should the shirt be more likely to become well, mine because you left it inside my house versus outside? Or should the car be given more time because it's worth sure. more money than You're the shirt? You're asking hypothetical questions outside the system. What I'm saying is I think within the system, within the rules of this you know, crazy legal land system, I don't think that if I left a car on your property that it would ever transfer into your name because I didn't leave the title on your property. If I came over here and left the title here, then mm-hmm. you would be able to get it. The car, you would have to... Place a lien on the property and then take it to a court. A lien on the car. Yeah. A lien on the car. Yeah, the car being the property, you would have to place a lien mm-hmm. on it and then take it to court, and then you might be granted the title by the state with mm-hmm. a car in specific. Crazy way the or legal system works. Or I might be able works, to find somebody yeah. to give me five hundred bucks to scrap it and he'll look the other way about not having the <laughs> yeah. title. More coming up here in moments. Eight fifty five four fifty three. What is it? What does it mean to abandon property? You can talk further about that or bring up whatever yeah. happens to be on your mind. The feminine activists are back at it. We'll talk about it coming up. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. Gentlemen, in search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com How many good people procrastinate? When was the last time you updated your last will and testament, your living will, and your health care power of attorney? If you could get these documents included with your Legal Shield membership for no additional charge, wouldn't it just make sense to have the peace of mind of owning a Legal Shield membership? Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple... Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. 
DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Toll free number is 855-453. We've got Skype. Skype into the show. Username is lrn.fm. And join us online at freetalklive.com. We've got news updates. You want to get, uh, get kept up in the loop with what's happening with Free Talk Live, then go to news.freetalklive.com, get signed up for our weekly digest and other email updates. The email list is a great way to be kept up to speed with what's happening with Free Talk Live. You'll also get, the, as I mentioned, the weekly digest, which summarizes uh, some of the most popular stories as submitted and voted by you from our website. It also includes a link to the weekly digest audio of Free Talk Live, which is put together by uh, one of our producers, Benjamin Bartholomew. He takes donations for his efforts, and he does a great job. He's been doing it for a few months now, several months perhaps at this point. And it's a weekly kind of uh, retrospective or highlight reel, if you will, on uh, the last week's worth of shows, which is very cool, which is a great way to kind of summarize his opinion of the best of the full 14 hours of uh, Free Talk Live every week. So basically it takes 14 hours and takes it down to about an hour. Just over mm-hmm. an hour. Uh, so you can get signed up for that. Go to news.freetalklive.com. There are also links there to our Google, our Facebook, and Twitter. So news.freetalklive.com. Uh, so, yes. I, so I have something to share since we're from our conversation from the uh, from the last segment there. Sure. So I know you like the Latin expression, um, you know, caveat emptor, right? Buyer beware. Buyer beware. So That's a good one, sure. For, for the real estate concept, there is also a Latin phrase, and it is... Uh, Cuius es solum, ius es usc ad calum et ad infernos. It just rolls right off the tongue. Yeah, it's a little hard to say, but here's what it means in English. For whoever owns the soil, it is theirs up to heaven and down to hell. That's the legal concept upon it's which ridiculous. This, this real estate principle is based. So ridiculous. <laughs> and so, you know, I was telling you, and I just, I think it is an interesting fact that most people just have no idea of. So, like, if you own a condo in, you know, a 40 story high rise and mm-hmm. you own a condo on the 32nd floor and that high rise burns down, you own the chunk of space that is midair at that point. Most people have no idea. That that's the case, that they still own that piece of property <laughs> that is now a virtual location in the sky. Wow. You know, and that there are things that, you know, there are parts parts of your property. Like if you owned a property that had oil on it, you could sell just the mineral rights to that piece of property and allow someone to dig under the property to get access to the oil, for example. Or if you own a farm, you can sell, you could sell the land, but maybe not necessarily sell the crops hmm. you know for a, t- a particular time you know you could even say that the crops are still own you could sell the crops to one person for five years and say that all the crops g- generated on this farm sure. are owned but this other person owns the land well just like how uh, you can own a building but you don't own the business inside right. the building you can if you look at uh, websites real estate websites mm-hmm. you look at commercial properties sometimes you'll see something for sale and it'll look like oh wow what a great deal but then you go and you look at it and it's business only so it doesn't right. come with the building you just get all the you know if it's a mm-hmm. hair salon you get the hair salon machines and the combs or whatever else you right. have with the hair salon <laughs> 
Uh, so you can share your thoughts here, 855 450 free uh, on real estate absurdity or whatever happens to be on your mind. Uh, still to come, some pretty crazy audio of a cop going, I, I don't know if out of control is quite the right word, but he is pretty intimidating and outrageous. I'll give you that, and we'll share that audio on the way here. Plus, Right now, the local.fr. This is breaking news this afternoon. I actually tried to find some other versions of the story. There really weren't very many earlier when I did the research. Maybe it's ex expanding now, and maybe we'll get video eventually. But there was no video this afternoon of this. There were a few photographs. Femin is back at it, and uh, I'm sure they've been at it. It's just that we only find out about it every now and then because well, we're not in Russia or Ukraine which is typically where you see the FEMEN activists doing things. If you've never heard of FEMEN before, it's F-E-M-E-N, all capital letters, I think. Uh, if you've never heard of these ladies before, they are some of the most courageous activists I've ever heard of. I mean, just amazingly ballsy, mm -hmm. sort of risky activism, which in a lot of cases, almost every case, gets them arrested. Right. Uh, and there were stories in the past about FEMEN activists being arrested by Russian police who then took them into the woods strip them naked and you know cut them with knives and let left them there. I wow. mean, so yeah, it can be bad with police abuse here in the United States. But the idea of dealing with the Russian police seems more scary. Maybe they're not as maybe they're really not as bad as US right. cops. I don't know. But the stories you hear uh, certainly the, the way you see them treat these ladies when they're arresting them doesn't really seem like they're too concerned for their their well-being. Here's the story from uh, earlier today. From the local.fr, this is a French uh, newspaper translated uh, to English, the same day President Vladimir Putin was to arrive in France for D-Day anniversary events, radical feminist protest group Femin destroyed the Russian leader's statue in a Paris wax museum. A topless member of the radical <laughs> protest group Femin used a metal chisel to stab and bash in the face of Putin's statue wow. in a famed Paris wax museum on Thursday. The activist, who had Kill Putin written on her bare chest, reportedly screamed, Putin is a dictator, while destroying the figure at the Grevin Wax Museum, according to French daily Les Parisiennes. Police arrested the activist shortly after the attack, which happened near statues of U.S. President Barack Obama and recently abdicated Spanish King Juan Carlos, both of which escaped without a scratch. And in the, the pictures of this, you can, uh, I will link to this on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter, so you can see this for yourself. But there's two photos in this story, and there are a few more if you look around on the internet you can find. But in both of the photos, the topless woman is there. She's wearing a pair of jeans and shoes, and that's it. Um, the she's carrying this this blade or whatever it was that she was using to jab him. The first photo shows her grabbing Putin and kind of hold, bringing him forward. The second photo, Putin is on the ground. She is straddling him over top of him, raising this blade after all, already having chopped part of his head off right. at this point. And uh, it's just a it's an amazing thing to behold. <laughs> I mean, it's just amazing. And now, look, it's private property. Okay, yeah. I get that. This is some, you know, I presume it's a private wax museum. I don't imagine wax museums are generally run by the government. Maybe they are in France. I, I don't know. But I'm going to presume this was private property. So from that aspect, Femin's not a bunch of libertarians. I mean, right. they, they've never claimed to be liberty-minded or anything like that. They've got, a, they've got certain issues that they're very concerned with, and one of them is, uh, is Vladimir Putin. They do not like this man. Well, he's a scumbag. Yeah. Well, right. I mean, by all indicators, he is. He is. In fact, it made me wonder if she hadn't been arrested, would she have continued on and uh, stabbed Barack Obama uh, as well? Because he was, you know, uh, there were several wax sculptures here nearby of various politicians, and I just wonder, had she been left alone, would she have been satisfied? with uh, stabbing the wax sculpture of Putin, or would she have moved on to the others? Putin is to arrive on uh, in France on Thursday, that would be today, to attend the 70th anniversary of D-Day events. And then they go on to say uh, the, about the what is what is D-Day. Even before the borders of Ukraine became an international issue, the Paris-based Femin has staged confrontational protests against Putin as well as a high profile as pro high profile targets in France like the Notre Dame Cathedral and the head of the far right National Front Party Marine Le Pen. In fact, I remember uh, there was one 
Femin event where a girl cut down a giant cross with a uh, chainsaw. <laughs> While topless, of course. Right. Everything, of course. They, everything they do is topless. Everything they do, they are topless. And they're so smart because, I think, because they, they paint messages on their chest. Right. So, I mean, every news photographer right. <laughs> is going to take pictures of the topless girl. And there's their political message. Right. Right there. So brilliant stuff. And I have to say, I do you think I'm a bad guy, Johnson? Because I laughed just hysterically at this story. Just the idea of this. It's pretty funny. These photographs of this woman just with this blade <laughs> sitting over it, straddling Vladimir Putin right. as wax a statue. wax statue. With this, she's got a real crazed look on her face yeah. too, man. I mean, she looks like she is a crazed murderer or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> And I just was, I was by myself just right. laughing my head off at this. I'm surprised today. that didn't just, because it's a wax statue, I'm surprised it just didn't light it on fire. That's I don't know I how expected. easy that is. I mean, how do you wax just burns, light wax on fire? Doesn't it pr- burn pretty well? I mean, if you just. No. Yeah. Have you ever lit a candle before? Does the wax c- well, get if on you get fire? It, if you get it hot enough, it starts to burn. Yeah. And it starts to burn out of control like fuel almost. Really? I've yeah. never seen that happen. Yeah. You just got to, I mean, if you, if you. I mean, I guess you'd have to get it really hot because normally yeah. if you melt, if you put a flame to wax it melts and drips right. away i guess it has to have a, a more of a fuel source to sort of like absorb the wax and start it to burn in hmm. you know like if you, i mean but you she, you could so just no, take, i don't think she you could, could just take a, a newspaper and just put it on the thing and light that and it would be just huge fire everywhere <laughs> yeah but the, i think that would have been bad because then she would have been on well, the line for oh, burning yeah, yeah, the yeah. wax museum yeah. down at yeah. that point and i don't think that was her goal so it, her goal is a political statement. I will say this. Le Musée Gravin is, uh, is a private wax museum. Okay, 855, 450 free. You can take control of uh, the, the airwaves here. What are your thoughts on this feminine protest? Uh, bring up anything you want. It's Free Talk Live. The year is 1636, and Commander Eddie Cantrell is on a mission to find oil in the Caribbean. But how will he contend with Spanish governors, hostile natives, and Dutch pirates? 1636, Commander Cantrell in the West Indies, is the latest book in the New York Times, Amazon, and Wall Street Journal best-selling Ring of Fire alternative history series from Bain Books. 1636, Commander Cantrell in the West Indies by Eric Flint and Charles Gannon. Another great book from Bain. Get it now wherever books are sold. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, June 5th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,248, while silver opened at $18.83, and Bitcoin is trading around $660. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication for all your print and audio duplication needs. Mention promo code LIBERTY and get 5% off all DVD and CD duplication jobs. Online at affordablesound.com or call them up at 512-459-5253. Support also comes from Voice and Exit, maximizing human flourishing through radical innovation. Tickets on sale now. 
Get 10% off with promo code FREEDOM. June 21st at Austin Music Hall. Get yours at voiceandexit.com. In the news, the director of the National Security Agency has denied the agency is collecting images of U.S. citizens using facial recognition technology. Admiral Mike Rogers, head of NSA and commander of U.S. Cyber Command, confirmed the agency does use such technology, but stated it was aimed at foreign intelligence and counterterrorism targets. The program was recently revealed by the New York Times and is based on documents provided by whistleblower Edward Snowden. The documents show the NSA intercepted millions of images per day, including some 55,000 facial recognition quality images. The U.S. Secret Service is seeking software capable of identifying influencers on social media sites responsible for setting trends. The agency wants to be able to watch continuously flowing social media data in real time by collecting emotions of Internet users, old Twitter messages, and more. The agency hopes to acquire software sophisticated enough to detect sarcasm or false positives, but also to quantify their social media outreach. California residents have approved a measure that amends the state constitution to force local governments to respond to public records requests. Proposition 42 requires local agencies, ranging from the city council to the school board, to comply with the California Public Records Act, regardless of cost. In 2013, the California state budget included language that would have made compliance with the CPRA optional for local governments, because the governor's office argued that the state was too broke to reimburse local agencies for the costs. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from The Corey Moore Show, live Friday nights, 9 o'clock central at CoreyMooreShow.com. And support comes from Roberts & Roberts Broker Jank, specializing in precious metals since 1977. They don't feed the banks by taking credit cards, but you can bet they take Bitcoin. Online at rrbi.co or by phone at 800-874-9760. This is the Liberty Beat for June 5th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. Three former members of Sergeant Bo Bergdahl's platoon told the Associated Press he should be investigated for desertion. Tuesday, Army Secretary John McHugh assured that the Army will review the circumstances surrounding Bergdahl's disappearance. Soldiers working alongside Bergdahl described his demeanor as quiet and reluctant to share details about his personal life with others. Sergeant Evan Buto said shortly before Bergdahl's disappearance, Bergdahl asked him questions about mailing home his personal computer and what would happen if his weapon or night vision goggles went missing. A surge in illegal immigration from Central America prompted Texas Border Patrol agents to fly hundreds of migrants to Arizona, where they were dropped off at a Greyhound bus station. Children's shelters in Arizona were already struggling to accommodate arrivals from Guatemala, but are even more overwhelmed following the recent surge stemming from Texas. Cecilia Munoz, director of the White House Domestic Policy Council, said the number of children crossing the border is up 90 percent compared with last year amounting to nearly 70,000 unaccompanied children. President Obama has endorsed Ukraine's president-elect Petro Poroshenko, stating that he was the right choice to lead the country through its conflict with Russia. Speaking in Poland on Wednesday, President Obama said that Ukrainians reject violence and maintained hope the new president would do the same. The pro-Western Poroshenko said he would be unveiling a plan for a peaceful resolution in East Ukraine after his inauguration Saturday. President Obama also reassured East European NATO allies that the United States would defend them against Russian intervention. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, home of one of the first Bitcoin ATMs in the country where you can buy and sell Bitcoin. Visit the ATM at 321 West Ben White Boulevard, number 203. And support comes from Cabo Bob's, non-GMO chips, homemade tortillas, and no high fructose corn syrup in anything. Online, CaboBobs.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, June 5th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. An update now on a legal battle emerging around the Onion News Network's own Jode Kressbeckler. After the shocking story yesterday that a group of assailants attacked Congressman William Cummings, tied him to a horse, and dragged him through a briar patch, some are now saying these statements from Mr. Kressbeckler last week may have incited the attack. boat legged Congressman Cummings ought to be tied to a horse and dragged through a briar patch. Mr. Kressbeckler's show is billed as an opinion and entertainment program. Yes, it and is. And he even calls himself nothing but a caterwauling old badger, so right. the claim that he would 
incite people to violence seems pretty far-fetched. He displayed a map of Congressman Cummings' home in relation to the nearest briar patch, told his viewers where to purchase a, quote, good pulling horse, and used a life-size dummy of Congressman Cummings to demonstrate effective knot-tying techniques. Right. You know, I think most reasonable people would see that as simply a rippled political satire. Right. Bri briar patch is obviously a metaphor for the prickly political atmosphere in Washington, and drag from a horse means something else. Makes sense to me. This is the Onion News Network. Take control, toll free, 855-450 free. That's 855-450-3733. And we've got Skype. You can Skype on into the show and username LRN.FM. We are launching into the third hour of the program with you here. It's Ian. And Johnson. And we've got Skype. Skype in at username LRN.FM. And you do have to send a contact request first. It'll be easy for you to get on with us from that point forward. I've got some pretty crazy audio here. And then coming up, Johnson's going to tell us about the latest that is happening with the ride-sharing services. They are under fire in a mm -hmm. lot of cities. In this case, it's going to go statewide in at least, what was it, one, two states, something one like that? One state that I One know state. Of. We'll, uh, we'll give you that detail here in a moment. But first, from YouTube, uh, some video that's actually more audio than it is video. It's okay. uh, a couple guys in a car. And longtime listeners of the show will remember the voice uh, behind the camera. His name is Rob Menard. Robert Menard. We had Rob on a couple times in the past. He's one of the folks from the Freeman movement. Okay. Uh, this is a group of people in Canada, and to some extent they exist in the United States. But um, he's kind of one of the, the main characters in it, one of the more visible people. You're one of them, right? <laughs> I, I changed my last name to Freeman, but not because of the Freeman movement. Right. That was more of a, a statement about who I who I am today as you opposed to— You really like Magic Dots and, you know, like Robin Hood, obviously the movie that Morgan Freeman was in, right? Okay, right. <laughs> Half-Life 2 or whatever. No, no, not um, Gordon Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Well, there's all kinds of Freemans yeah. out there. Anyway, these Andy are Dufresne. a group of people who, you know, they've got some interesting legal theories about uh, how to interact with the government and how to sort of withdraw oneself from the governmental system and society. And how much of that actually works is another question. That really doesn't matter when it comes to this police stop because, you know, magic words don't work on the police. They don't care what it is mm -hmm. that you say. They don't care what law books you've read and what you think you know about the system. All they know is they've got a gun and a badge and a taser or whatever, and they're going to use it, and they've got authority, and they know that they're protected so they can behave in very, very poor uh, ways towards people and, and usually get away with it. Sometimes the police will approach someone who's got a video camera. And that's what happened in this case. So they were pulled over. I don't even know what for. It doesn't matter. Uh, they were pulled over, and the demeanor of the police was apparently threatening, not friendly. Mm -hmm. In fact, the police called for backup. So they had multiple officers on the scene. Rob Menard picks up his phone and calls 911 and gets on the line and basically says, look, there are these men here. You know, They are threatening us. I do not feel safe. Uh, they're your men. You know, can you send somebody down here that is reasonable? Send somebody down here that is calm. We are we're frightened here. Right. And I've uh, I've gone I've jumped a minute and a half through sort of his initial conversation with the the cops on the phone, which isn't as interesting as what happens when the officers come back up to the window and start rapping on the window next to him. Now he's actually in the passenger side of the seat. So there are two officers. There's his. There's the driver. There's, well, first of all, there's the driver and Rob Menard in the car, and then there's one officer on the driver's side, and then another officer on the passenger side. And you mm -hmm. can hear. You can't really see the driver on, or the, uh, the officer on the passenger side initially, but you get to see him later in the video. Anyway, he raps on the window uh, toward the end of, or I guess not toward the end of Rob's conversation, but within Rob's conversation on the phone, and that's where we're going to pick up this video for you to hear what happens and. I, I shouldn't say more about what this cop does and why it's so outrageous. But remember, Rob has called the police right. while the police are in this pullover. So keep that in mind as you listen. And I'm not sure about whether or not he's operating under the Highway Traffic Act. My concern is that you guys know that come what may, we're peaceful people. There's no there's no need for any sort of intimidation or violence. Keep the parking brake on, please. Uh, uh, I wanted what? to talk to the sergeant and make sure that uh, 
Can you put the parking brake on, please? Sorry? Uh, okay, there's no. the wrapping. Hello? Why'd you call 911? Okay, so the, the first cop you heard was the, the one asking about the parking brake. Right. He was having a conversation with a driver. That's not the relevant conversation here. Now you've got the rapping cop. This is the one you want to pay attention to. Who called 911? What's that? Who called 911? Excuse 911? me. You called 911. I'm here to help you. What do you need? Now, does that tone of voice, without going on in the video here, does the tone of voice this officer is using sound like he's here to help? Right, no. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Okay, well, I'm... What do you need? Answer I'm, my question. I'm concerned for need? my safety. Step out. I'm here to protect you. Step out of the car. Whoa. Do you believe him? Right. <laughs> he's he's here to protect you. He's banging on your uh, window and telling you he's here to help and here to protect you. Just step on out of the vehicle. Right. He's going to protect you. Right. Okay, thank you. I'm concerned you about your actions. I'm here to help you. Step out of Sir, you have to see this man. He's banging on the window. He's acting all aggressively. Apparently, he's violent. He goes to open the door. You could hear the thunk yep. from the, the handle there. The cop immediately goes to open the door. So it's important to remember, if you are going to non-cooperate to some extent with a police stop, not give them all the info that they want, do mm -hmm. anything that might you know crack the window. He does have his window cracked here, by the way. Right. It's maybe about an inch, two inches uh, down. You do things like this, it could very well upset the police. And, you know, you never know what kind of cops you're, you're going to be dealing with. This guy could could have pulled that door open and yanked Rob out of the car and thrown him to the ground. Who knows what he would have done if he'd gotten that door open. But luckily, Rob had the forethought of locking the doors. We continue. Towards me. No, I, thank you. I'm good. I'm talking to the officers now. I feel that I'm happy now. For? Wait, wait, wait. What wasn't he just saying? He was here to help a moment ago. Right. <laughs> now he's going to be arrested for public mischief. You are trying to arrest me? Are you arresting me? No, I'm telling you, step out of the vehicle. You called for assistance. We're here to assist you. Okay, <laughs> are you going to arrest? Okay, this is going you know, on. He's YouTube. already told the guy, I'm fine. Right. Earlier, he said, whoa, okay, you're here to help? Well, I'm on the phone with your officers. I'm fine. I don't need your assistance. And now he's saying they're here to assist. This is crazy. I called you guys because I'm scared that you guys are acting too aggressively. Uh, I'm actually and now for calling for you safety. for assistance, well, that his excuse for coming after me. I'm videotaping and streaming all of this. And uh, I have stood in court. I'm capable of standing in court. And I myself am a duly sworn peace officer. Now this guy is banging on the window. He's going way out of control. And I am scared for my safety. Now, how about you send someone here who's reasonable, who doesn't seem to be all I don't know. The guy's very angry. Sir, I don't know what your problem is. We're here to help you. We're from the government and we're here to help. The fact that he continues going back to the line that right. he's here to help this man after he's threatened him with arrest, it's just the, the dichotomy right. is just so, uh, just the height of ridiculousness. We are here to help you. Okay, how about well, this? Wait a minute, hold on. Let's, let's stop down here and let's say that, you know, a lot of statists seem to think that abuse is helping people. I mean, I, it's, it's sort of the, I've seen this common theme and, and talking, especially lately to in here in Keene, to a lot of these, you know, anti-freedom activists. And the theme seems to be child abuse is A plus OK, mm. you know, beat kids because it teaches them respect. And so, yeah, he might think that that is help. We're going to arrest you. We're going to discipline you because that's help. <laughs> that's all they know. Right. Force. Violence. Violence is good. Yep. It'll toughen you up. Tell me how you need help, sir. You dialed 911. What is the emergency? My concern was that you guys... I can't see you. I need to see your hands. I want there is no emergency. He asks a question. The cop, you, you listen through this, what is purported to be a conversation. The cop just makes statements, and when he asks that question, you know, how can we help you, he doesn't wait for him to answer. Right. He just, the cop immediately breaks in and keeps saying things. Emergency, down, there's sir. been a miscommunication. Well, Thank you. Down, I'm talking to the police officers correct? right now. You dialed 911? And does this mean you think you can come and intimidate you me and attack me like this? Sir? You're scaring me, Ardobius. Good. You're scaring me. I'm here to help you. Good. Did you catch yeah, that one? Yeah, I did, yep. Yeah, okay. Good. Then he says, I'm here to, you're scaring mm. me. Good. I'm here to help you. Yeah. I'm sorry, that just doesn't compute. Sir. And it's good that you're scaring me. Please step away, sir. Please I'm step away. You, I don't require your assistance. Then why are you on the phone with 911? I'm talking, I'm not talking to 911. I'm, right. I'm in talking to the head office 
of of your uh, your police department. I am not on the phone with 911. I I am on the phone with 416. 808-4300. Now, that's an interesting little twist here because it seemed like he was calling 911 earlier in the video, and later on he sort of suggests that he was, so I'm not sure how he ended up on hmm. that line. But regardless, the cop really wants him to admit that he has called 911, and you'll hear the cop badger right. him here in a moment about right, that. Right, because that's a breaking of the law. More coming up here in moments. moment. Well, not if you're afraid and it's an emergency. Mm. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Quantum Vibe, it's year 2523. There are colonies on Venus, Mars, and Mercury. People travel in bubbles, fly at hyperspeed, with brain implants and artificial gravity. A scientific genius and his clever assistant set out on an adventure through the solar system on a secret mission to find the key to access new frontiers and save liberty. Quantum Vibe. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years, hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power, a gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big-time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. (laughs) 
It's Free Talk Live, inviting you here to take control of the airwaves at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online over at freetalklive.com. With you tonight, Ian here. And Johnson. Still to come, the latest on the ride-sharing services and their continued uh, conflict with various governments around the country in the United States. I don't know. I imagine they're probably having similar issues in other countries as well, but we don't hear about that so much here in New Hampshire. Uh, we'll give you more on that here in a moment. Your uh, thoughts are certainly welcome at 855-450-FREE. And on Skype at username lrn.fm. You love coffee? Well, try some of the best coffee from BuzzBox. You can get an entire pound for free. There's no cost to the pound. You do have to pay the shipping cost, however. But you cover the shipping, and they'll send you a free pound of some of the best coffee out there. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica. Coffee from BuzzBox is competitively priced with other high-end coffees. But they do something different that those other companies just don't even begin to mess with. They have set up a program that allows people around the world to buy into their co-op, and they've teamed up with World Vision and Free Talk Live to allow us to finance microloans for people in poverty and give them another chance at, uh, at starting their own lives and making their creating their own wealth for themselves. Every 10 listeners of Free Talk Live that sign up at coffee.freetalklive.com and get on the auto ship program will finance one microloan. So every 10 listeners finances one microloan. We'd like to finance 100 of those microloans, which will require 100 Free Talk Live listeners, or 1,000 rather, Free Talk Live listeners to sign up at coffee.freetalklive.com. Now, if for whatever reason you want to cancel, that's fine. You can cancel your subscription anytime. Uh, You get your first pound for free. You just pay the shipping cost. Go check it out and try it. Coffee.freetalklive.com. We're playing audio from a police stop in the Toronto, Canada area involving Robert Menard. He's actually you know, one of the few guests we've ever had on Free Talk Live. We've had something like a few dozen guests over a decade of doing the show. Mm-hmm. We've had Rob on a couple of times just because his perspective is interesting. He's, he's somebody who is a part of the free man movement in Canada. These are people that have interesting court theories and ideas and they're people that actually put their ideas into action. They're not just talkers. Rob Menard's not a talker. And one of the things I really liked about Rob Menard when I first found him years ago, because I've researched a lot of these theories, of mm-hmm. legal theories and things like that, and I found there's basically uh, two categories of people out there presenting these ideas. There's the people who want to sell you some sort of CD-ROM full of <laughs> all the secrets of how to pull yourself out of the system for you know $500 or something like that. And then there's Rob Bernard and a couple other people like, you know, uh, maybe uh, Mark Stevens from mm-hmm. Adventures in Legal Land. Rob Menard actually gives away his content. He actually right. goes, he's got his own YouTube channel. He's made, you know, two hour long videos. And again, it doesn't mean his content's true or that it's all right, but it means that he's confident, confident enough and believes in his ideas enough that he's willing to put them out there for people to right. uh, to honestly assess, to decide to try out if they want to do that. And for me, I, when I saw that, I said, i got to have this guy on the show. I mean, that's that's what I want to see. For all these right. people that claim they know the way out of the system and how to you know get out of court dates and things like that, let's see the proof, man. Well, your name is capital letters, and if you just <laughs> if you just use your it's lowercase in this in this video, it doesn't have anything to do with that stuff. <laughs> this video is just a plain old police stop. Just happens to involve Rob Menard. Rob's on the phone with uh, the the department. He has called the police department to report that he's feeling scared. These officers are banging on the window. They're trying to you know open the door up, and who knows mm-hmm. who, who knows what. Then you got this cop showing up who's doing some of these things, saying that. Oh, did you call 911? Oh, well, we're here to help you. And then at the same time, literally moments later, in the next sentence, the cop will say, and we might just arrest you. You know, it basically says we're going to arrest you for mischief, criminal I mean, mischief. The, w- the way these cops were acting, they might as well have been moaning brains. They're terrible. They're brains. just um, and- I mean, they just... They're acting, we're scratching at the window. and <laughs> It's very intimidating right. and very scary. And so let's continue with the audio here. You've got this one cop saying on one hand, oh, you called 911, we're here to help. And then at the same moment also saying we're going to arrest you. <laughs> uh, we're get from out of the, the car. government and we're here to help. 
<laughs> and then he changes and he says he won't arrest him, and then it's just all over the place. Going on here. I'm on the phone with your front office, and you are attacking me. You're threatening you me. You're right intimidating so me. You know Can you're I speak to us? Yeah, right? uh, you're on camera too. So are you. You're right there. Thank you. You, you know what? How about this? How about we just recognize we're all human beings. We deserve dignity. Let's act with peace. Let's recognize there's Rob, no need for violence. Rob, just tone it down for a minute if I can actually talk to this guy. Do you need guy. police assistance, sir? No, thank you. I don't require your services. Who dialed 911? I don't require your services, thank no, you. I don't, I don't care about that anymore. I want to know who dialed 911. For what per Is dialing 911 against the law if one feels for their safety? No. Is there an emergency? There was one in my mind What's when I called. There was one in my what? mind when I called. So there he kind of sounds like he did call 911. Right. But earlier in the video, and I think he may do it one more time, he acknowledges or he claims that he's on the phone with what sounds like the regular phone number for right. the police department. So, But I, I think he's got a case. I mean, if you call 911 and you really are in fear, right. you feel like this is an emergency, then that shouldn't be a chargeable offense. That doesn't mean they know. won't arrest you and charge yeah, you with yeah. something. Um, but I don't know if that's the case, though, because I know, like, for example, and, and I'm not sure that this is, example is accurate, but, like, for exa like if uh, a cat has climbed a tree and people, you know, feel like that's an emergency and so they call 911, that may, <laughs> that may not, in fact, be an emergency and that person can be, in fact, charged for wasting city resources or whatnot. So I, I don't know that that's necessarily true, that, you know, if you feel that you're in an emergency, that I think that there may be some defined criteria and well, i would think well, we know being... the, oh, oh, we know if the cops feel scared they can shoot an yeah. 18 year old special that's needs true. girl to death <laughs> yeah that's true anyway going on here there's just oh, a little oh, bit more and there was a really interesting story just on on the on a similar note that i was reading the, uh from cop block the other day talking about how the fact that uh you know the cops are under no legal obligation to have to protect you That's correct. if you're in danger right but however if a cop is in danger and needs your assistance you're legally obligated. What? Yeah. Where did you hear this? This was on a, a posted to a, the Cop Block, Cop Block's Facebook profile. There I'd like to hear more about that. That. Yeah. that sounds pretty outrageous. Yeah. There's only a few more seconds in the video yeah. here from Toronto. The emergency is armed men. Sir, I'm done talking to you. Bring me your supervisor. I'll talk to them. You're being overly aggressive and intimidating. And you're trying to get mad at me because I'm on the phone with eight. 416-808-4300. You're a peace officer, are you not? Sir, did you dial 911? Have you observed me breach the peace? Yes or no, did sir? You dial sir? Have you observed me breach the peace? Did you dial 911? Have you observed me breach the We're peace? Here to protect you, sir. Thank you very much. I don't require your protection. Have a great day. Did you dial he rolls his window up. <laughs> now, uh -huh. There's not much more uh, context here. That's the only video that was uploaded, so we don't know if anything transpired after that. The video description doesn't give anything as far as you know what led up to it, what happened after it. But regardless, I think it's a fascinating bit of audio and the way the police officer behaves so, so just transparently aggressive while at the same time trying to claim he's here to help. Right. I mean, just a, just a twisted example of who some of these cops are. 855-453 is the toll-free number. I wouldn't trust that cop. 855-450-3733. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict. 
or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com so you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Do you ever say, I could care less, when you really mean the opposite? You mean to say, I couldn't care less. It's a common mistake. You are judged by how you speak, especially if you're looking for work with so many more applicants than openings now. But even if you're not, avoiding common misstatements will help you make the most of the dozens of conversations and transactions that crowd your daily routine. So whatever you say, don't say whatever as a single word sentence. It's the most annoying expression in the American English language, according to a recent poll. And avoid cliches like the plague. Just kidding. But seriously, at the end of the day, you'll want to avoid this scenario, sounding like everyone else. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Bring up anything that you want here toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. You can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy all the features there. You can create the content there on the front page of the website. You can just submit anything you want, and other listeners can vote it up if they like it and vote it down if they don't. And you can do the voting too. So go and uh, get interactive at Free Talk Live. Dot com. You know, I've been using uh, some interesting, a very interesting product that I was a little skeptical of at first, and then I actually tried it. My Magic Mud, and it's a holistic remedy for your teeth that removes plaque and detoxifies the mouth of bacteria that causes cavities, gives you a dentist clean every time you use it, and is gentle on the enamel. The ingredients in My Magic Mud are also used as dietary supplements, so not only is this an effective whitener, it's safe to swallow. My Magic Mud is a teeth whitening powder. It looks, it's like black, like charcoal. And it strengthens your teeth and promotes healthy gums, reverses sensitivity, and soothes any pain you may be dealing with. I have to say, when Mark was telling me that he noticed, like a I noticeable... I was here when you first were experiencing this story. This was exactly two weeks ago, because it was when I was on. Yeah. Last time, so... When Mark was talking about yeah, it? Yeah, when Mark was talking about it, and you, this was like the first night that you were actually getting, you know, exposed to it, and he was showing it to you, and you were looking at it, yeah. and, you know, perplexed, <laughs> because it's black, right? I mean... It's black, and, yeah. you know, when you start using, you know, when you're using it, your whole mouth is black, and right. you know, your lips have black all over them, and it's kind of, it's a, kind of a fun thing to do. 
Um, but it really do, it really does whiten teeth. Like right. I mean, I've I've tried the strips before, and of course I've mm-hmm. tried whitening toothpaste. And I saw results in a friend of mine who who used this. The right, I mean, she she had very noticeably yellowed right. teeth, and there was a noticeable change after one application wow. of my magic mud. I, I was shocked, really. Uh, my magic mud. Dot com. In fact, if you're coming to the Porcupine Freedom Festival, Jessica Armand, who's the creator of My Magic Mud, she's going to be there. And she's a liberty-loving homeschool okay. mother of three. She's going to not only be there, but she'll also have plenty of them for sale. You can buy them in person. And actually, they're saying they're made, there may be like a station where you can try some out. MyMagicMud.com. Of course, you can order it online as well. You can purchase a jar of it and listen to an interview with biological dentist Dr. Griffin Cole, where he explain, explains a lot of the benefits of My Magic Mud. That's MyMagicMud.com. Dot com. Do you share uh, Mark's experience? Or he, he said he felt the difference, like right away. He said it, it definitely felt like, is. It felt like a. It definitely is a clean feeling. Interesting. Um, it's you know it's different. It's very different from toothpaste, mm-hmm. and it's pleasant. You know, cool. It's nice. It's it's fun to use. It's kind of it's, especially if you've got kids. I think it'd be like really a lot of fun to use. It's kind of messy, so you have to be <laughs> careful with kids, I guess. But anyway, mymagicmud.com. I wonder if it would work on. Here's this is a totally yeah. outlandish use for it, but uh, some people you know need to clean their pet's teeth. And I wonder how that would work work out. Kind of interesting. Ooh, yeah, that would be interesting. Because, you know, a lot of times, you, I, mean, I mean, there are yeah. people that brush their dog's teeth and, you know, have that. I wonder if it would work on pets. That is a good question. I, That's a question for the creator, actually, yeah. probably. <laughs> Fascinating. Well, you know, you can bring, your dog, to to, you can bring your dog to Porkfest <laughs> and uh, find out. WebKeys is on the line with us, listening in Manchester, New Hampshire. You're on Free Talk Live WebKeys. Hi. Uh, yeah, I, I liked your uh, you'll talk about Robert Bernard there. Um, I've been reading, like, watching his videos for on and off for a long time. Um, and a couple of things I want to talk about. Uh, the, the first thing I want to uh, give you, uh, props for for saying free man as opposed to sovereign citizen. Uh, you hear that a lot. I think there's a lot of confusion. Well, I don't think Robert Bernard um, claims to be a sovereign citizen. Right, yeah, I'm sure he doesn't. I've never heard him say anything like that. Um, so yeah, there's it's, a lot of people will just lump everybody that talks about this type of thing into that category, which is kind of a misnomer. Um, yeah, I mean, you can't be a sovereign citizen. The, the two terms are contradictions of themselves. So I would think exactly. Robert Menard would be well aware of uh, of that contradictory sort of statement. Yep. Um, and the other thing was um, that I noticed in the clip that he asked the uh, the man knocking on his window if he was a peace officer. And he did not respond. Uh, well, right, because if he was a peace officer, then he would only be able to uh, maintain the peace. And, and if there's no harm being caused by by Robert in that in that case. Um, you know, there's there's nothing. There's no reason for him to be able to to well, force him out of the car. Or that's a nice theory, Webkeys. But I've had cops tell me they're peace officers before, when they were not maintaining okay. the peace. When they would certainly arrest you for you know smoking a joint or something like that. Well, and, and there's always the case where there's a, a corrupt cop. Um, there might be something wrong, and just because they 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 might say that they're peace officers, they might not know what that means, and they might. Um, and I haven't done this myself, so I, I can't say from experience, but um, that could put the case, if they try, took you to court, that could put the case in, in the jeopardy. I highly doubt it. But as you said, you haven't done it yourself. So you're talking about sort of these legal theories about how to escape the clutches of the system. I mean, Robert Menard's a pretty, uh, pretty intelligent guy. He's done a lot of research on these legal matters but you know, obviously, it's not going to help him out of a police encounter like that, right? That's not going to save you. Would the idea well, I, be that uh, eventually you'd be able to beat him in court? Um, from what I remember, I, I watched a lot of his videos uh, a number of years ago, and um, I saw a number of of those encounter police encounters where they either just let him go, or he ended up winning in court, and the case the, the charges got dropped. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, that's Canada. So well, I've had they, charges dropped, too, but I don't suspect that it had anything right. to do with any kind of statement about I know my rights and uh, all rights reserved or whatever. And I don't I can't say I remember exactly what, you know, Robert's teachings are. I mean, he's he had some neat stuff. Some of his ideas were cool and I liked where he was coming from on them. 
Um, but you know, I've rarely seen, if not ever, I don't think I've ever seen a full uh, kind of following of a case. There was one video yeah. of one of the freemen in Canada who was in a courtroom. He was wearing a hat, and he it the video was made to made it appear as though he backs this judge down. Like the judge gets so flustered, he gets up and he storms out yeah. of the courtroom, and you never find out. You know, what happened later on? Because from what I understood, there was a warrant put out for that man's arrest, and they, they came after him. But there was never any real follow-up on that story. Do you know about that one? Are you talking about the guy with the, the baseball cap? Yeah. And the jeans? That's right, yeah. Yeah, in the courtroom. Yeah, I saw that, too. Um, I, no, I don't know anything about the follow-up or anything. That's right. I mean, it's a great video. It's entertaining as hell to watch it. But I, you you never know what ends up happening because yeah maybe the judge left the courtroom and then when the other guy left the judge issued a warrant for his arrest and the cops went to his house and uh, and picked him up we don't know that part of the story right we we don't know um, but I I have seen and most of these videos that you see they're they're not in the U S so it's really hard to be able to like try to use them for something that you could try out yourself in the well, U.S. Well, okay, but you're here now, and uh, you're in New Hampshire, and I think you moved here as part of the Free State Project. Why not go grab a parking ticket and uh, take it to court and see if you can get it kicked out? <laughs> well, um, I, 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 that's, well, I'm not going to do it. That, that's, I mean, that's not exactly the, my plan, but um, I, have a, I have similar plans. I'm in Manchester right now. I don't mm-hmm. really want to do it in Manchester like to do it in Keene eventually, um, but what's your plan? Totally my... Is it a secret? Um, it, I haven't even decided on it, but it's okay. probably not going to have, have anything to do with traffic because of my current traffic record. I don't want to like put that I at see. risk. But um, what do you want to do? I mean, what is your approach going to be? Is it going to be to file some sort of paperwork with the government office claiming you're, uh, you know, that you're free person, or like what? What do you think will? Uh, what well, are you going to do? Term person. The term person, um, there's, there's, that's one to distinguish uh, against the term people, because a person is, um, from what I've been reading... So, right. You think that Judge Burke's going to care about you saying that? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Well, I look forward to finding out, Web Keys. Thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you at 855-450 free. Oh, 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 no. No, sir. You, you can't put me in those handcuffs. I am not a person. <laughs> Therefore, this law does not apply to me. Uh, you don't have jurisdiction here. I've tried the jurisdiction stuff and the person stuff, not so much. But it's it doesn't matter. None of it changes anything. It's Free Talk Live. The year is 1636, and Commander Eddie Cantrell is on a mission to find oil in the Caribbean. But how will he contend with Spanish governors, hostile natives, and Dutch pirates? 1636, Commander Cantrell in the West Indies, is the latest book in the New York Times, Amazon, and Wall Street Journal best-selling Ring of Fire alternative history series from Bain Books. 1636, Commander Cantrell in the West Indies by Eric Flint and Charles Gannon. Another great book from Bain. Get it now wherever books are sold. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Gentlemen, in search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com It's already too late. Criminals have kicked in your door and are now in your home. Before this happens, homeowners have a choice. One, do nothing and hope you aren't one of the 1.4 million families attacked each year. Or two, refuse to be a victim and for as low as $59, reinforce your doors with door devils. Door devils simply attach to existing door frames and have proven to stop the biggest bad guys from kicking in doors. Read our police testimonials of real-life events at doordevil.com. Alarms don't stop kick-ins. We do. Doordevil.com. 
Free Talk Live, the show where anyone can call about whatever they want. And we do mean anyone. It's happening every day. They sip some kind of chemicals through the floor. Oh, so it's like gas. It sounds crazy, but oh. it's the truth. I was under the impression they were coming into your house and like and holding you down. You. Well, they can come in. Oh, yeah, I got the remote controls right now. I can't find them. I listen to this preacher man. Every time I listen to him, they some kind of way that turns the station off. <laughs> Maybe it's just going off. I mean, you'd you be surprised. They've got like the remote, Mark. How much power they have, and that's what they got. They got a lot of power. I think you I, should go get some I help. I think you should think talk that, to somebody who cares about you yeah. and ask them about psychological help. Somewhere, someone has had gas pumped into their room, <laughs> but I just don't think it's happening with Mary because she's outspoken. <laughs> what does she speak out against? I should have asked her that. <laughs> I don't Damn know. it. You're, you're done. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at L. LRN.FM. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. And this is Free Talk Live. Moments remain here, but enough time for your call and your thoughts. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online. Drop on by freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we share with you. So, again, freetalklive.com. You like the show? You want to help support what we're doing here? You may do that by becoming an amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. Your amp dollars will be doubled for the next several months thanks to our generous contributors who have stepped up. So if you become a $5 a month amplifier, it's like being a $10 a month amplifier. Plus, you can get your first month's amp back as Bitcoin. Just send me your Bitcoin address in an email to ian at freetalklive.com after you sign up. So those are a couple perks, a couple reasons why you should sign up now. Plus, the money helps us. We're investing it into Free Talk Live to get on more radio stations around the country, bring more internet listeners on board. We've had growth in our podcast downloads since we started using Google AdWords a couple of months ago, and I'm very, very happy about that. That's great news. Yeah. People are picking up the show, they're listening to it, and, and it appears like they're sticking with it. I told so, you. <laughs> that's good. Uh, well, I, I've used Google AdWords in the past. It was just, we we shut it down for a little while while we tried Facebook it's out, just, and I gave up on Facebook. It's remarkably effective. I mean, it's yeah, just one of those things works. where it's like, it's it's amazing. Or at least I believe it works. We yeah. also cut back on the amount of commercials that we put in the right. podcast at the same time, so okay. maybe it's actually a multi-pronged kind of mm-hmm. success story, but it's all thanks to listeners like you becoming amplifiers at amp.freetalklive.com. You get uh, details, you get, or not details, you get bonuses, you get perks, stuff like the Amp Only podcast, the Amp Only Facebook group, which is very, very popular. Popular, um, as well as uh, other things. So go and get the details, get signed up. You can use any major credit card through PayPal. You can also use Visa and MasterCard right on our website. So go to amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Uber. Uh, there been uh, It's been a rocky start for the companies of the ride-sharing type. Uber and Lyft, LYFT, are two of the main players in the marketplace. The idea is you install an app on your smartphone you let's say you're going to you know you arrive at an airport in a city where one of these companies is operating you need a ride somewhere you don't want to get a cab you get this uber thing it's going to be cheaper from what i understand than a cab in a lot of cases the cars in the uber lot or the uber drivers have nicer cars than the cabbies cars so it's a nicer ride and it's a cheaper ride from what i hear i was never able to actually find out though when i went to austin uh earlier this year i wanted to try the uber thing 
because we needed a ride mm -hmm. somewhere. And I uh, downloaded the app, and it said, oh, sorry, we're currently in negotiations with the city of Austin to allow yeah. Uber to operate. Well, are you going to Virginia anytime soon? No. Well, you won't be able to find out there either. What's happening? Well, Virginia's department, this happened today, Virginia's Department oh, of Motor man. Vehicles sent cease and desist orders to Lyft and Uber, telling the two ride services that they must stop operating in violation of state law or face fines against their part-time drivers. The DMV had already issued civil penalties against the companies in April, $26,000 oh, for Uber and $9,000 for Lyft. So they're going to go after the drivers directly. Yeah, apparently. Um, for trips, and they say that these fines were levied for trips that their drivers provided in Virginia, despite warnings by the state agency that Virginia law does not allow their business model. <laughs> the companies are- There on shall be no <laughs> innovation here. <laughs> The companies are on the leading edge of a trend in mobile apps that are used to connect passengers with part-time drivers who use their personal vehicles outside of the regulations of a traditional taxi service. The DMV is studying... Hence, the, the costs are lower. Right, right. The DMV is studying Virginia's motor carrier laws with an eye toward legislative changes next year that could allow Lyft and Uber to legally operate in the state. Oh, great. Yeah. So <laughs> if you fillet the politicians enough, yeah. maybe they'll bend the rules to allow you to operate in the state. And who knows what new rules they'll have to jump through, because we know that one of the reasons why it's so hard to provide ride uh, services in places like New York City and other big cities is the taxi medallions are in insanely expensive and highly limited. So right. even if you could get a medallion, you may not be able to because there may be none available at any given moment unless someone wants to sell their existing medallion. Right. Um, a million dollars in New York City. You're looking at $600,000. Yeah, a million dollars in New York City, oh, uh, approaching $700,000 in Boston. It's crazy. Yeah, How do you insane. make money off of that? Yeah. Well, here in Virginia, Secretary of Transportation Aubrey Lane said last week that he liked the company's business models, but until the law is changed, they are violating it. Yep. Despite the fines and the DMV's entreaties to the ride services to work on the study and legislative changes, Lyft and Uber have continued to provide services in Virginia. Lyft drivers are recognized by the large pink mustache that they attach to the front huh. of their vehicles while on duty. That's conspicuous. Yeah. In the cease and desist letters, uh, DMV Commissioner Richard Holcomb told representatives for both companies that he is once again making clear that they must stop operating in Virginia until they get the proper authority. Hol or, Hol else or else will put you in a cage. Yep. They don't say that part, but that's yeah. what they mean. Holcomb wrote that he strongly suggested the companies focus their resources on participating in the state study rather than continue illegal operations in the meantime. He told the companies to alert their drivers in Virginia that the DMV will be enforcing its existing laws. Well, what's going to happen is uh, if Uber respects the order, and they probably will, They'll shut down. They're, they're just going to shut down their operation. Their app will come up where, we're sorry, we're currently in negotiations with the state of Virginia. Which would be sad for dr certain drivers that might continue to drive anyway or well, try but to. That's the question. Is And if you're an Uber driver and you can answer this, how could you continue to drive? I mean, the point of right. Uber is to connect you with mm -hmm. uh, other people who are willing to drive you somewhere. So what would you do about that? I remember when we were at the Bitcoin conference in Austin, there was a guy talking about using the blockchain technology to, whoa, to help whoa, connect whoa. people with ride shares, wow. which was really exciting. Like, oh, that's I, awesome. I can't explain it to you, Johnson, the way this guy right. that we had on the show explained as far as how this would work, but it would essentially cut out Uber from the picture. Right. So Uber exists as this middleman between the drivers and the passengers, and the proposal that was on the table at the Austin conference, they had this contest where mm -hmm. a programmer stayed up like all night throughout the whole conference and they were working on different ideas. They presented these ideas to the panel of judges and uh, were vo it was voted on. And so one of the top ideas, they picked the top seven. And one of the top ideas was using this decentralized Bitcoin right. technology to somehow allow people who are looking for rides to connect directly with right. drivers, which very exciting. Yeah. And it seems like it should be fairly feasible. I mean, that. 
And if that happens, then like Uber and Lyft yeah. are done for right. at that point. Right. Uh, presuming it catches on. Well, yeah, presuming it catches on and people are, you know, want to start using Bitcoin for that because, uh, you know, Bitcoin still isn't. Or what if ubiquitous. Uber, what right. if Uber right. steps up and starts implementing blockchain right. technology in their app? How they would make money off of it, I'm not real sure. Right. But uh, what if they offered that as an option, and then they were just like, "Well, well we can't take responsibility." You know, you uh, you agree with a right. disclaimer up front. This may not be legal in your area. Okay, and then you find yep. cars. <laughs> so, yep. anything else to share yep. on that? Well, uh, it says, okay, so let me continue. Uh, companies alert to drivers. Da, da, da. Along with the cease and desist orders, the DMV today is circulating a warning advising the public to research any ride service and learn about its insurance coverage, vehicle maintenance, <laughs> and driver <laughs> screening process before using it. It pointed to people... To, uh, it pointed people to a list on its website, dmvnow.com slash knowyourride. <laughs> Look out! You need to find out about their insurance before it's you get so a ride to work. dangerous. You might not be protected by us. We're going to protect you. We're here to help. Yeah. <laughs> no, we know what they're here to help. Yeah. They're here to help. They're the here existing, to help yourself to your money. The, well, the state wants your money for sure, but they're also here to help their buddies in the existing taxi cab services. Uh -huh. They want to protect their friends. Yeah, because they're spending hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars on medallions yes. because they're being extorted and they want to keep the extortion going. That's all it is. That's yep. really all this is. It's not about protecting yep. consumers. It never was about protecting consumers. I mean, with all the taxi cab regulations, people still have bad experiences and rip off drivers in taxi cabs. Yeah. I, when I've been in New York City, I've been to raves in New York City. There was one rave yep. I went to where we took um, underground cabbies to I – mean, we didn't even realize they were underground cabbies, but we took underground to what turned out to be jitney cabs from the hotel to the, to the rave, and it was great. They were great. <laughs> So there's more. Okay. <laughs> so Quickly. guess guess who's not on the list? Uh, the list of threat threatened companies? Or no, what, no, the company, list? the 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 uh, the uh, approved, insured, uh, registered and insured things. Guess who's not on the list? Who? Lyft and Uber, of oh, course. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this guy says, "I urge citizens of Virginia to protect their families using only companies that appear on the DMV's <laughs> website and licensed transportation services. If it's not on the protect list, protect your families. It's not recommended. Where are all the you know Uber drivers who are murdering <laughs> their customers or right, you right. know whatever? All right, so we're out of time for tonight." We'll be back tomorrow. You can join us online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. Hey guys, Mark Claire here, lionsofliberty.com, where we strive to advance the ideas of liberty daily. We bring you the morning roar. That's right. Every Monday to Friday, we'll have a brand new edition of The Morning Roar, where we provide a roundup of some news stories that you may not find in the mainstream media or even in your typical social media news feed. We find stories that relate to the ideas of liberty and provide you with our liberty perspective on them. Every Monday, we have our longest running feature, Mondays with Murray, named after the great libertarian Murray Rothbard, where we'll examine an article or an excerpt from his works and help convey his view along with our little spin as well. We wrap it all up every Friday with Felony Friday, where our own John Odermatt goes out and takes a look at some sort of felony. There's felonies committed every day, you know, whether it's a felony committed by the police, a politician, or even an average citizen. You can find all of this and so much more over at lionsofliberty.com. Advancing the ideas of liberty daily. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com.
The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, June 5th, 2014. Silver is trading at $18.83 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,245 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $655. Antiwar.com reports, a U.S. drone fired missiles at a pickup truck in the Marib province of Yemen yesterday, destroying the vehicle and killing four people within. Tribal sources said the truck belonged to a mid-level Al-Qaeda commander. The commander, identified as Jafar al-Shabwani, was believed to be one of the four people killed in the strike, though the identities of the other three are completely unknown beyond being labeled suspects. This is considerably more detailed than most victims of U.S. drone strikes in Yemen get, though as usual the U.S. has offered no statement at all on the incident. Marib is one of several provinces in central and southern Yemen that is more or less entirely out of the central government control. With tribal factions the dominant forces, Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula has set up shop in some such areas, though at times they have faced major opposition from tribal leaders. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts & Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760 Ballot Access News reports, on June 4th, the Sixth Circuit Court declined to grant reconsideration to the Ohio Libertarian Party in its ballot access case. As a result, the only candidates on the November 2014 ballot for Ohio governor will be the nominees of the Republican, Democratic, and Green parties. This news enhances the odds that the Green Party will pull at least 2% for governor and remain on the ballot for the 2016 and 2018 elections. In 2010, the Green Party got 1.52% percent for governor in a four-way race in which the Libertarian Party gubernatorial candidate pulled 2.39 percent. Additionally, on June 4th, Paul Zuckerberg won his lawsuit against the District of Columbia Board of Elections in the D.C. Court of Appeals. The issue is whether the 2010 ballot measure, which the voters passed, requires a 2014 election for attorney general. The measure, as described on the November 2010 ballot, said the first election for that office would be 2014, but the actual completion